Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Is to survive at the station. Let's get started. I'd like to go to. I'd like to go to. I'd like to go to this hotel. When you tell someone, I'd like to go to this town, the person selling you a ticket will be able to tell you which train you need to take to get there. I'd like to go to means this is the destination I want. How do I get there? Is this the right platform for... Is this the right platform for... Is this the right platform for the train to Greenwich? A platform is where you wait for a train to pull up. So if you're on a platform and you aren't sure if you're on the right one for the train you need, you might ask someone else who's standing there, excuse me, is this the right platform for the train to Greenwich? And they will tell you if you're in the right place. What time is the last train? What time is the last train to San Francisco? You might ask someone, what time is the last train? Depending on which city you're in, the last train of a day might be at maybe 10 p.m., for example. You're going to want to make sure you get to the station to get that last train. Where do I change for... Where do I change for... Where do I change for the express train? When you're taking a train, sometimes you might need to do a transfer at a particular station. This means if you're on one train, you might have to get off at a certain train station and wait for another train that'll take you all the rest of the way to where you need to go. Asking where do I change for the express train, you're asking at what station do I need to get out off the train and wait for the correct train. Where can I buy a ticket? Where can I buy a ticket? Where can I buy a ticket in town? You should ask where to buy a ticket so you know whether you need to purchase your ticket on the train itself or if you need to go up to a kiosk and buy your ticket there. It's always important to know ahead of time where to buy your ticket because you don't want to get on a train and find out you were supposed to buy your ticket at the station. How much is it to... How much is it to... How much is it to the airport? You might ask this question to find out how much it costs to take a train or a bus or a taxi to where you need to go. If you get into a taxi, for example, and you ask, how much is it to the airport? The taxi driver will tell you $30. He'll tell you the price you need to pay to get to the airport. If you're taking a train, you might ask the ticket seller, how much is it to the airport? And the ticket seller will tell you the train to the airport costs $10, for example. That way you know how much it costs to go to where you need to be. Does this bus go to? Does this bus go to? Does this bus go to the suburbs? Does this bus go to? Is a way of asking whether or not the bus that you're looking at has the destination that you need. So you might get on the bus and ask the bus driver, does this bus go to the suburbs, whatever destination? And the bus driver will answer and tell you, yes, get on, or no, you want a different bus. What time is the next bus? What time is the next bus? What time will the next bus arrive? By asking what time is the next bus, you're asking when the bus is going to come to the bus stop or whatever station the bus will stop at. This way you know what time you need to be at that bus stop. The train is running late. The train is running late. The train is running late again. This is something I say all the time in New York City. The train is running late. If the train is running late, that means you will probably be running late when you get off the train. Where are the ticket machines? Where are the ticket machines? Where are the ticket machines in this station? A ticket machine is a machine that you go to to purchase your tickets. You might see this in any station 
whether it's a subway station or a regular train station or sometimes even a bus station. There will be kiosks that you can go to to enter the information and purchase your ticket. Top 10 marriage proposal lines. Ooh, let's go. The first proposal line is, will you marry me? This is probably the most classic proposal line. Will you marry me? The image of someone saying, will you marry me, is a, a man down on one knee giving a ring to the person, to usually the woman, cl classically. Sorry, I know times have changed. But usually giving a ring to someone uh, as they ask this question. So, will you marry me, is the question. The answer should be simple, yes, or no, I suppose. <laughs> oh, oh, poor you if you say no. Okay, in a sentence, yeah, will you marry me? Will you marry me? This is the sentence. Uh, here they have the example sentence, I never thought I would say this, but will you marry me? The next proposal line is, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? My goodness, so fancy. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Quite polite. It sounds like the woman in the situation is like, is, is somehow going to bring the man asking her to marry him honor. Therefore, like she is very valuable or she is very excellent. Very excellent. <laughs> that word choice was very excellent. Okay. Oh, they have a different, they have a slight variation here I'm going to read now. Will you do me the immense honor of becoming my wife and partner? Wow. The next proposal question is, will you make me the happiest man alive? Will you make me the happiest man alive? The nuance here is that if she says yes, like this is a marriage proposal, if she says yes, I will make you the happiest man alive, by agreeing to marry him, he is so happy, he is the happiest man in the world. So, in a sentence here, um, will you make me the happiest man on earth and say yes? Um, the next expression is, you are the one I've been waiting for my whole life. You're the one I've been waiting for my whole life. It doesn't necessarily have to be for a proposal, this one. If you, maybe you want to tell someone you love them for the first time, well, actually, maybe this is a little too heavy for the first time of that, um, but maybe it's just you've reached a really serious point in your relationship with someone, you could use this expression. I don't feel like this has to be for a proposal. I think you could use it in a couple of other situations. Situations. Who am I? Situations. The sentence here is, it might sound cheesy, but you're the one I've been waiting for my whole life. Wow. Quite serious, though. Quite a serious expression. Careful. Okay. The next expression I think is classic. I want to be with you forever. I want to be with you forever. So be with you means be in a relationship with that person forever until the end. Um, you might hear this at a wedding, I suppose, too, like in a wedding vow. Um, you could say this um, before the proposal as well. I want to be with you forever. Will you marry me, for example? In this sentence, I want to be with you forever and grow old with you. Oh, very nice things here today. The next expression is let's spend the rest of our lives together. Let's spend the rest of our lives together. So from this day on, uh, we should just be together always is the nuance here. Um, yeah, again, you might hear this on a wedding, on, in a wedding ceremony too, I suppose. The sentence here is let's elope and spend the rest of our lives together. Elope means like to come together, usually kind of quickly and a little bit mysteriously. Mm. The next expression is, having you by my side is what completes me. Oh, so nice. So if this person, if there's a person next to you, a person with you by your side, uh, this person, the person speaking, feels complete. So it's a nice, it's a nice expression. Like, with you, everything is okay. Everything is finished. Everything is complete here. Um, so in a sentence, I love you and having you by my side completes me. Okay. The next expression, I can't imagine my life without you in it. I can't imagine my life without you in it. So that person likes you, likes the, the other person so much, they can't imagine. What would life be like without this person? They don't know. They can't imagine or don't want to imagine it. Very positive. This sentence says, I can't imagine my life without you in it because it is too painful. Oh, goodness. Okay. A little bit heavy. Serious. A little bit serious, a little bit heavy with that one. Okay, I've used a similar phrase like this with my friend, like after we talk about how much we love burritos. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The expression, <laughs> I'm 
I'm not. This is true. The expression here is, I now know that you and I are truly meant to be together. Yeah. So you can use this. I feel like you can use this in a less serious situation, like with good friends or、uh, another variation you can use with your friends is like, I knew we were supposed to be friends or I knew we were going to be friends from the moment we met. But here, I now know that you and I are truly meant to be together. It's like if you share a really good experience together or you can really connect. Connect well. You can use this expression. In this sentence, after these years together, I now know that you and I are truly meant to be together. All right, the last expression we are meant to be together. We are meant to be together, meaning、um, we are supposed to be together. We should be together. It's a nice expression. You can use this with your friends too, I think, in less serious situations. In this sentence, we are meant to be. The first phrase is hello. Hello, of course, is used as a greeting. You can greet your friends, you can greet your coworkers, your family with this phrase just by saying hello. Hey, hi, what's up? Hello. Sup? Yo. Pretty much any time of day you can use hello. Hello? The next phrase is good morning. Good morning is used as a greeting in the morning. You can kind of feel when morning ends for you. Good morning is nice and polite. Or even just morning with your close friends or close co workers. The next phrase is good night. Good night is fine. We don't use this to greet other people. We use it when we're saying goodbye to other people at night.、Uh, family members, particularly mothers and fathers, to say good night to their children before they put them to bed. You can say it to your friend in a text message or in an email if you've been talking for a while. Good night. So, the next word to talk about is goodbye.、Uh, use it when you say goodbye to your friends, when you leave your friends. Goodbye. Bye, of course. Take care. Have a nice day. Peace out. That's another way to say goodbye. Okay, the next phrase is I'm plus your name. Of course, this is a way to introduce yourself. You can use I'm, in my case, Alicia. I'm Alicia to introduce yourself in any situation. New friend, I'm Alicia. Okay, the next phrase is, What's your name? What's your name is used to ask someone else what their name is. So, what is your name sounds a bit. Try to use, What's your name? If you forget someone's name, you can say, Sorry, what's your name? Or, Sorry, what's your name again? Next phrase is, Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you anytime you meet someone new. Nice to meet you is fine. Good to meet you is a little more casual. Great to meet you sounds very excited. Pleasure to meet you sounds like、uh, maybe a formal situation or a business context. Okay, the next phrase is, How are you? How are you? Is an, it's just a friendly way to check in with the other person. You can use it with friends, your family, your coworkers, maybe even your boss to a certain degree.、Uh, how are you? How you doing? The next phrase is, I'm fine, thanks. And you?、Uh, if you saw English in three minutes, we talked a lot about this phrase.、Uh, instead of, I'm fine, thank you, and you, say, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Just shorten it, make it a little bit more natural. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. How are you? Not so good. How are you? Okay. And so on. So when someone says, How are you? offer, I usually say, I'm good. This week, I blah, blah, blah. Give some information about what you've been up to, maybe a hobby, something that you did recently, an event, something interesting you saw, whatever. People want to make that connection with you, and it's a good chance for you to continue speaking. The next word is please. Please is a polite phrase used when you want something from someone else. You can use this as a response when someone offers you something, like in a restaurant, for example. Would you like more water? Would you like something to drink? Oh, please. The next phrase is thank you. Thank you is used to express your appreciation. You can use thank you with everybody. The next phrase is you're welcome. You're welcome. When someone says thank you, you can say you're welcome.、Ah, no biggie. I use no biggie, as in no biggie is short for no big problem. The next word is yes. Yes, of course. Yes means is any positive expression. Someone asks you a question and the answer is a positive answer. You say yes, yep, uh huh, yeah. We.、Oui. <laughs> no. Next, I'm guessing I know it. Yep. The next word is no. No is a negative response to something when you have to give a negative answer. So, as you can probably guess,、um, the long form of no is negative. I like to use nope. It's very, very casual. Not gonna happen. My parents would use that with me. To soften that a little bit, if you want to show a negative response to something, like let's go out for dinner tonight, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to go out?、Mm, not really. Mm, no, I don't think so.、Mm, to soften it. 
The next word is okay, okay. This word comes from copy editors. Okay, when they had to check a manuscript, um, they had to label the manuscript all clear, A-C, but because they were copy editors and they have a very, very sick sense of humor, they thought they would mark it okay for all clear to make a joke because O and K do not start all and clear, but it caught on among everybody in the world. <laughs> Anyway, okay uh, is used to agree with somebody else. Well, it can be used actually to express a positive or kind of a slight negative, I feel. Transitioning in your conversation, you can say, okay, now we're going to talk about blah, blah, blah. Okay, the next phrase is excuse me. Excuse me, it's used to get someone's attention in English when you don't know the other person. For example, in a store, a supermarket, maybe a stranger on the street, you need to ask directions. You can use excuse me. You can use excuse me in the supermarket. Excuse me, can you tell me where the hot sauce is? If you've done something rude in public, you can use excuse me. I personally do not do rude things in public ever. <laughs> I'm sorry is the next word we're gonna talk about. I'm sorry is used to apologize when you have made a mistake or someone you know has made a mistake and you're connected to it, or you just feel bad, you can use, I'm sorry. You made a mistake at work, I'm sorry. You forgot to feed your cat, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. You bump someone next to you, oh, sorry. What time is it is the next phrase when you need to check what time it is. What time is it? When you ask someone else what time it is, maybe you say this to yourself too. Check your watch, check your phone, check a clock. Pretty straightforward phrase. There aren't really any short versions, so. That's an easy one. <laughs> Where is the plus a location? So you can use this for um, a building or a store. We don't, we're not gonna use this where is the for a place, a city name or a state name or a country name. To do that, you would need to remove the. But where is the bank? Where is the post office? You can use this to ask directions, to ask for help in your house or at work. Where is the copy machine? Where is the file I need? Where is the blah, blah, blah? And where is the bathroom is perhaps a very important question to know. The next one is, may I use the restroom? May I use the restroom is a polite uh, and soft expression that you can use if you need to use the toilet, you need to use the washroom. And when you're at someone's house for the very first time, when you're in a place that you're that is new to you you can ask may I use the restroom more casually can I go to the bathroom to be very polite you can say may I go to the bathroom the next phrase is I would like to order something you can use this at a restaurant probably or in any situation where you need to place an order I'd like a pizza I'd like a beer can I get the check please this will be used at a restaurant when you've finished your meal and it's time to go can I get the check please in a very very casual situation you can just say check please that's fine the next phrase is see you soon see you soon is used with friends and family members perhaps uh, when you expect to see them again soon after saying goodbye to them this is used at the end of the conversation you're going separate directions you say see you soon see ya is also good or just see you to make it a little more formal, you can say, I'll see you again soon. Make a full sentence out of it that way. The next phrase is see you later. See you later is very similar to see you soon, but the point is with see you later is that you're probably going to meet that person again later on in the same day. The last phrase is really. Really is a very useful word because you can use it to show you're interested in a conversation with upward intonation. Really, really, tell me more. Or to show that you're not so interested in the conversation with downward intonation, really. So there are many other words that you can use similar to really in this way, like seriously or oh, oh, and so on. So it's a really good practice for your intonation. Be is the first English verb. Be refers to existence. I want to be an astronaut. I think you would be a great person for this job. Be yourself, let's be friends. I could have been a writer if I wanted to be. The next verb is have. I have a dog, I have an idea. What do you have? How many do you have? How much money do you have? Do you have any friends? <laughs> How have you been? Have you seen my mom? I can't find her. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. The next verb is do. Do you want some pizza? Do you have a dog? Do I want to give any dip to do? Do be do be do if you're Frank Sinatra. I do the things that you do better. <laughs> say, 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 say what you want. Say my name, say my name. Say you love me. Do you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? The next verb is get. Get a life, get a job, get a haircut, get a better suit. Stevens. <laughs> what you got. I could have gotten a pony, but I went with a lizard instead. I'm getting 
tired. That's not true. The next verb is make. Make a cake. Make your mother proud. Someone outside is making a strange face at me through the window at the moment. That is a true story. <laughs> make a living through legitimate means. The next verb is go. Go big or go home. I'm going to the beach. You should go to the beach. You should go to the forest. <laughs> go to a baseball game with me. Past tense of go is went. I went spelunking on my holiday. <laughs> the next word is no. This is an interesting word because no is actually not commonly used in the progressive tense. No is commonly used in present tense uh, to refer to your mental state or your emotional state. So we don't really say I am knowing really, but we can say uh, I know. I know the answer. What do you know about this issue? He couldn't have possibly known the location of the treasure. How many people do you know? I knew it. <laughs> the next verb is take, take a cake. <laughs> Take a break. Take yourself to bed. You should take a vacation. Have you ever taken a bath? The next word is see. We'll see. I'll see you later. Uh, the next verb is come. Come is the next verb. Please come to my house. Come to a party. I'm gonna come over to your place later. The next word is think. Think. I think you're great. He thinks pizza is the best food. I'm thinking about lunch. I'm thinking about coffee. What are you thinking about? I've been thinking about something. That's a Hanson song. Uh, have you ever thought about the meaning of life? Look, look is the next verb. Please look at the camera. Look over there, look over here. Look, a dog. Look at your mom. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Look at the time. <gasps> look. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's actually a bird. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> is it me you're looking for? Hello. Next word is want. Want, what do you want? I want food. How many coffees have you ever wanted? I wanted to go to the dry cleaners this morning, but I ran out of time. That's true. <laughs> the next verb is give. Give me a break. I'm going to give you a raise, Stevens. I'm giving you the ax. Fired. Give me a break, give me a break, break me off these I kick and far. I have given you everything I have. Go unto Mordor, Frodo. I could have given you the world, and instead I gave you a carpet. Use is the next word. Use. Don't use a pen. I like using chocolate when I make food. <laughs> Are you using me for my brain? Next is find. We could have found buried treasure last weekend. I'm finding Nemo. <laughs> Find things on the internet with Google. Find English words and phrases at EnglishClass101.com. Yeah! Tell is the next verb. Tell me a story. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I'm told that you are an extremely good opera singer. I'm telling you to leave. Tell lies every day. Don't tell lies. The next word is ask. Ask. Please pronounce this correctly. It is not ax. Many native speakers make this pronunciation mistake and it really bothers me. Ask. Ask me about my collection of rare donut recipes. Ask your mom about her life. Why don't you ask your boss to the party? How about you ask your coworker for some advice about this issue? I should have asked for help, but I didn't. The next verb is work. Work is work. I'm working now. Seem, to seem. The weather seems nice today. He seemed a little angry this morning. Feel is the next word, feel. I feel happy. Feelings. How does it feel? Feel. Feel, clap along if you feel like that's what you wanna do. Try, oh my gosh, try is the next word. Oh, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I try every day to work very hard. Have you ever tried ramen? I tried ramen yesterday and it was really good. Do you try to exercise every day? I'm trying to sleep, go away. The next verb is leave, leave, leave me alone, leave. Your door's unlocked. Don't leave your doors unlocked. I have never left a hot air balloon without 
first taking a picture. <laughs> the next verb is call. Call is the next verb. Give me a call. Please call me later. Call me maybe. Call your mom on her birthday every year. She'll be happy. Call, call. <laughs> if you're a single, have you ever called the wrong number? Have you ever called a dog by another dog's name? Name. Name, of course, is used in common questions like what's your name, my name is, and so on. My favorite actor's name is Harrison Ford, something like that. Say my name, say my name. The next word is time. Time is used, of course, to express the point in the day as used in questions like, what time is it? Can you tell me what time it is? I don't have any time lately, if you're really busy. Have you any time? It's time for my favorite show, House of Cards. Kevin Spacey is cool. The next noun is man. Please be careful, man is one of those words that has an irregular plural form. When you need to use the plural of the word man, you should say men. Do not say mans. It's very funny, but uh, don't say it. Who's that man? Or what's up man? You can use man with men or women, interestingly enough. The next word is woman. Woman also has an irregular plural form. Please say women when referring to more than one woman, not women's or woman's. <laughs> Even though the, uh, the singular and the plural form of women and woman have the same spelling at the beginning, W-O-M, the pronunciations are different. Woman, women. So watch out for that when you say this. Pretty woman. The next word is person, person. You can use it to refer generally to either a man or a woman. Please be careful, person's uh, plural form becomes people. When you want to talk about another culture, for example, you can say such and such country's people or the people in that country speak blah, blah, blah language. The next word is thing, generally an inanimate object, something that is that just doesn't move like a water bottle or, you know, a sweater, a thing. You can use it when you don't know the word for something. So thing is very, very useful. What is this thing? Uh, I like many things, for example. Where the Wild Things Are, the movie that's already out that I totally knew about. <laughs> the next word is mother. Mother is the person, the woman who gave birth to you. Isn't that exciting? Mother is commonly shortened to mom or mama or mommy, ma, madre if you speak Spanish, mum, mamba if you're me, <laughs> mamacita. The next word is day. Of course, day is used in all of the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, time period when the sun is out, the day or the daytime. <laughs> Have a nice day. The next word is world. World just refers to the entire planet Earth. Well, I like to travel all around the world, or I like trying foods from all around the world. In the world of science, this is an upcoming technology. Or in the world of literature, he's one of the most famous authors. So worlds can be used to refer just, just to um, kind of a more specific hobby or a specific interest or just a specific person's life. War of worlds. Father. Father is your dad. Um, other other common words used for father are dad, papa, pop, daddy, pa, faja. <laughs> I use that one with my dad. While mother is used to refer to kind of like nurturing, kind of like, you know, the earth or things that like kind of give life to others. Father, at least in my mind, there's kind of this image of um, someone who's a little bit more strict in your life. The next word is sister. A female sibling is your sister. You can also use sister for a female person that you feel very, very close with. So I might call my female friend, who's I'm very close to, my sister. My brother likes to shorten it to sis. You might also hear sista as well if you are silly. Sister. Whoopi Goldberg was in a famous movie called Sister Act. The next word is brother. Brother is a male sibling. Uh, you can also use brother to refer to a close male friend. Common variations of brother are brother, bro, bra, brosy, broski. Depending on what kind of person you are, you can choose to use any number of those. Like, I might sarcastically say to my friend, cool story, bro, <laughs> like if he's told me a story that's not very exciting. In Mario, for example, the name of the Mario games is actually Super Mario Brothers, but Brothers is abbreviated as B-R-O-S, Super Mario Bros. Yeah, just be careful about your use of bro, because it, it sounds a little bit like a college-age boy. Uh, that's kind of the kind of the feeling of the word bro. Oh brother, where art thou? <laughs> the next word is daughter. Daughter is a female child. Daughter. Do you have a daughter? I have a daughter. I don't have a daughter. Taken. <laughs> 
It's son. A male child is someone's son. Son, S-O-N, is pronounced exactly the same as S-U-N, son. What are you talking about, son? The next word is I. E-Y-E, eye. Your eye is the round thing that you use to see with. Eye is used in a lot of expressions and idioms in English, as in, I've got my eye on you, meaning I'm watching you. Or, keep your eye out for something, meaning please look for something, or please pay close attention. I'm waiting for something to happen. The next word is hand. Body parts, give me a hand, or can I give you a hand, means please help me, or can I help you, mm, to give someone a hand. Head. This thing on the top of your body, your head. We use head to refer to the top of things, as in the head of a company, the head of a group, the head of the line. So whoever is first in the line, whoever is top at the company, they are the head. If you have a head, dance. <laughs> if you have a head, then dance. Woo! The next word is foot. This is another word that has a weird plural form. One foot, two feet. Foot, interestingly enough, foot is used, of course, to refer to your body part. Uh, a foot also is a unit of measurement. If you are from America, or I believe one other country in the world uses this system. Sorry, we're not on board with the metric thing in America. But foot uh, is 12 inches, about this long. So if head refers to the top of things, foot is used to refer to the bottom of things. If you've written a paper on Microsoft Word, for example, um, at the very bottom of the page, there will be a space called the footer, meaning the bottom, where you can put little notes uh, to your reader. The next word is place. Place can be used to refer generally to a location, commonly to refer to friends' homes or apartments. Let's go to your place, or can we have the party at your place, is a little bit more natural than, I want to go to your house. <laughs> the next word is work. Be careful about using work as a noun and work as a verb. Your work refers to your job, your responsibilities, your tasks at your office or your workplace. You can use it in a phrase like, I have a lot of work to do, or please help me with my work. I like to go to work. <laughs> It can be used to just refer to anything artistic in general. So it can mean, it can be a painting, it can be a building, it can be a sculpture, it can be, I don't know, whatever. Anything artsy can be referred to as work, as in, I really like that new work by that artist, or did you see so-and-so's new work? Twerk? The next word is week. Uh, week refers to the seven-day period that we have decided is one week here in the modern world. Commonly used in expressions relating to your activities, as in, I go to the gym once a week, or I see my friends twice a week, or I have to work every day of the week. Monday through Friday is referred to as uh, weekdays. Saturday and Sunday, weekend. Next word is month. Month is, um, there are 12 months in a year. My favorite month, depending on which country I'm in, I generally like uh, autumn months, like uh, October. I think I usually like the month of October. September, October is good, because it's not too hot, not too cold, and Halloween is coming, and that's my favorite holiday. Hannah month, Tana. The next word is year. Year refers to the time period, usually 365 days. There are leap years where there is an extra day in the month of February. What year were you born? Or I was born in the year of the rabbit, uh, de depending on which calendar you like to use. It can be used to introduce a story, as in many years ago, I went to blah, blah, blah. Year of the platypus. <laughs> Next is the word one, the number one, the first number, <laughs> one of something. To refer to somebody who you loved and who left your life, you can say, oh, he or she was the one that got away. The next one is the word <laughs> number, but it can be used in a number of expressions, like what's your phone number, or give me your number, or here's my number. It means phone number, but we don't always say phone. Good. Good can be used to refer to anything that you think is good or great or positive. In the comparative form, it is better. In the superlative form, it is best. So I think pizza is good. I think that sleep is good. I really think that sleep is good. Baseball is good. Playing sports is good. Video games are good. The next word is new. Comparative form newer, com superlative form newest. I have a new haircut. Do you want a new bike? I need to get a new job. Not true, sorry, no, <laughs> just an example sentence. So next one is first. First just refers to um, the number one of something. Yeah, the original of something. You could say the first silent film or the first movie I ever watched or the first CD I ever bought. The first CD I ever bought was Michael Jackson's bad. Next word is last, the final of something. We use last to refer to the most recent of something as well, as in the last time I went to the beach or the last time I went to the forest or the last time I saw my friend. Have you ever eaten the last piece of pizza when you weren't supposed to? 
Uh, what was the last word we talked about? It was first. The next word is long. Uh, long. Anything that you feel is... <laughs> Lightsabers are long. Subway sandwiches are long. <laughs> I'm not supposed to laugh for long. The next word is great. Great can be used to express any positive emotion. Somebody gives you new information and you think it's good, uh, but you want to express that it's even better than good, you can say it's great. Greater is the comparative form. Greatest is the superlative form. The greatest invention of all time was the light bulb, for example. What do you think is your greatest achievement? One of life's greatest pleasures is finding people to be good friends with. It's great. <laughs> the next word is little. This is a very common uh, word that gets used in an expression like when I was little, referring to when you were a kid. So when I was little, I really liked to play outside. Or when I was little, I was really into Pokemon. I have said very little about the word little. The next word is near. Near, nearer, nearest. You probably know the location of the nearest, maybe a supermarket to your house or the nearest post office. I live near a very fashionable store. The next word is big. Big is used for anything that is large in size or large conceptually. So for example, you can say an elephant is a big animal or in terms of concept, you can say, um, let's see, that fashion is really big right now or that artist is really big right now. And that refers to popularity. Big movies are exciting to watch with friends. Do you have any bigger sandwiches? I'm really hungry. Next word is other. Other just refers to something else, something different from what is currently happening. The other thing, the other person. My other friend is a DJ. My other friend is a cook. My other friend is a dancer. My other friend, I have very interesting friends. What other things have you done with your life? <laughs> the next word is old. Old, it can be used to refer to people. It can be used to refer to animals, to art, anything that has a long history. So maybe I like old movies or I don't like old art or I think my grandpa is really, really old. This is getting old. The next word is right. This can be used to refer to the direction, right, as in the opposite of left, or it can be used to refer to something that is correct. So in a sentence like you're right, it means you are correct. Correct, that is the correct answer. It can also be used to mean right, as in make a right turn, uh, but you'll have to listen to the context to decide which meaning is the true meaning. This is not right could mean something that's not fair or that you disagree strongly with. This is not right. The next word is high. High refers to something that is very tall, very way up somewhere. So many people might say like, I have a fear of high buildings or I have a fear of high places. It can also, in the comparative form, just refer to something higher or taller than something else. Highest, meaning the most high. Squeaky level is high. I like high volume uh, music. The next word is different. Not the same as something else is different. I think that having many different friends is a lot of fun. Do you enjoy listening to different kinds of music? The next word is small. Small, smaller, smallest. Small and little are extremely similar. I would pretty much use them in the same way. Uh, however, we don't say when I was a small kid. We say when I was a little kid. Or you can say when I was small. The next word is large. Large and big are very much the same. I will say though that large is used on clothing sizes. Big is not. When we talked about big, we talked about how big can be used to refer to something that's very popular. Large is not used to refer to something that's, that's popular. Large is used um, for, for sizing, I feel, only. So like a house can be large, but it's, it's used to refer to like the physical size of something. Uh, large and in charge. Large, larger, largest. This is the largest uh, and the bottom is in the zoo. <laughs> I have to go. The next word is easy. Easy is the next word. Easy, easier, easiest. Now, this is a good one that you can use anytime something seems very simple for you. For example, this test is easy, or that was the easiest thing I've ever done, or I hope this test is easier than the last test. E oh gosh, don't call a person easy, Alicia. Uh, don't ever call a person easy unless you're trying to be really rude. My driving test was really easy. Or what's the easiest language you've ever studied? The next word is difficult. Uh, difficult is something that seems hard to do. What is the most difficult thing you've ever had to do? The most difficult thing I've ever had to do was move to a different country. The next word is young. Young, younger, youngest. Come on, guys. Uh, younger, younger generations 
have a lot of uh, new technologies to experiment with. Young! The next word is important. Important, more important, most important. What is important to you? I think that practicing a, another language is more important than playing my banjo. I don't have a banjo. <laughs> you can find something that's important to you and put your time into it. I think drinking a lot of water every day is important. Putting on your shoes before you leave the house is very important. I have to go, it's very important that I go. Next word is interesting, interesting. Anything that you think is cool, anything that you find that makes you go ooh is something that's interesting. I think that this type of music is the most interesting type of music. Your mom is interesting. The next word is short, short, shorter, shortest. I am the shortest person in my class. I'm the shortest person in the room. Short just refers to something that is not long, so it can refer to a size or it can also refer to a concept um, as in a length of time. So like I'm going to travel abroad for a short period of time. Bad. You know I'm bad, I'm bad, you know it. Bad, something that is not good. Bad food will give you bad feelings in your stomach. You're a bad dog. Who's a bad dog? You're a bad dog. The next one is boring. Something that is not interesting. Something that does not make you go, ooh, but something that makes you go, huh. The most boring story I've ever heard was a story about a tomato. If I don't do anything, this will be really boring. Oh, far, referring to distance. Something that is not near to you is far. How can I go farther? Far. The farthest I've ever run is seven kilometers. I am not a runner. Happy. The first word is happy. As you might have guessed, happy. Happy is a happy word. When you feel good, when you feel positive, when you are excited, you can say, I'm happy. I was so happy to see my friend the other day. What makes me happy? Food. I'm happy right now. Energetic. Energetic. When you feel happy, perhaps you also feel energetic. You have that sort of ooh, like uplifting feeling. This chair is squeaking every time I move up. <laughs> I don't really describe my friends or pe people as energetic. I might say a dog or a cat is energetic. Like, wow, your dog is so energetic. What is she doing? She's running everywhere. Is she okay? Maybe I would say about myself, I'm very energetic today if I've had a lot of coffee, like now. Great. You can use this to describe people, a situation, a food, anything that you think is good, is positive, is cool, is groovy, is spectacular, is fantastic. I'm sure we're gonna talk about some of these other words later, so I should stop saying them. To like. Something that you are interested in, something that you think is great, is good, is cool, is awesome. You can like anything, whatever it is. Just say, I like blah, blah, blah. I like followed by a noun phrase. It's how you can share your hobbies, the things that make you happy. In a question form, what do you like? Uh, what do you like to do? I like eating food. I like cooking food. Recently, I like tofu. To love. We can use it for very close friends. Maybe in your, in your language, using the word love has a very, very strong meaning. But in English, we tend to be a little more casual about that. If you say to your, like your romantic partner, I love you, that has a very deep meaning. You can say it to your friends though, like, ah, so-and-so, I love you. That's fine, that's fine too. We use love and like to talk about how much we enjoy something. If you say, I love watching movies, it sounds like it's maybe one of your favorite activities. It's one of your hobbies. It's something that you really, really enjoy. So think about that when you choose like or love. I love cooking or I love, let's see, trying new beer. Satisfied. The next word is satisfied. Satisfied. Usually we use the word satisfied after something good has happened to us. So for example, if you go out to a restaurant and you have a nice meal, you really enjoy the food. Afterwards, you can say, oh, I'm satisfied, that was really good. If you've provided a service to somebody, you can say, are you satisfied? Proud. If you feel very good about an accomplishment or someone else has accomplished something and they're happy about it, we use the word proud to describe that feeling. So maybe I studied for a few months and I passed a test that was really difficult for me. I feel so proud. Or let's see, my students have been studying for a few years and their conversation skills have improved so much that we can have fun conversations together. I'm really proud of them. Yeah, if, if you're proud, you can say I'm proud 
Though be careful, if you say, I'm so proud, I'm so proud of myself, I'm so proud of myself all the time, you might sound self-centered, excited. The next word is excited, excited. This is usually before you do something that you're very uh, interested in, that you're very happy about, like, I'm going to see a new movie today, I'm so excited, or I'm going to try a new restaurant, I'm so excited. It's to describe that, maybe that kind of upward, yay, feeling. <laughs> <laughs> that you have before you do something you're very interested in. I'm excited. You can use this in the past tense too, like I was so excited to see that movie last week, it was great. What was the last thing I was excited about? Coming here. I'm so excited to cook food today, oh my god. Funny. Funny, funny, something that makes you laugh is funny. I laugh a lot, I think way too many things are funny. This is true, my favorite people are funny people. My friend told me a really funny joke last week. Hope, I hope I get to see my friends this weekend. I hope the food that I cook later is going to be delicious. I hope that I can move to a new apartment next year. I hope that my mom has a great birthday next month. Birthday, mom, in advance. This might be airing around your birthday. So hope is a, a, a sense that things are going to improve. That things were somehow are somehow going to be better than they are now. Wanting improvement, believing in improvement in the future is hope. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hi everyone. I'm Gabriella. How are your English listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A woman is asking a store clerk something at a bookstore. Which book does the woman want to see? Excuse me, I'd like to take a look at a book on that shelf. Which book would you like? The one about cars. One moment, please. This one? Yep, yeah, that's right. Here you go. Which book does the woman want to see? A woman is asking a store clerk something at a bookstore. Which book does the woman want to see? Excuse me, I'd like to take a look at a book on that shelf. Which book would you like? The one about cars. One moment, please. This one? Yep, yeah, that's right. Here you go. A man and a woman are looking over a menu at a restaurant. What's the man going to order? What are you going to order? The pizza looks delicious. I think I'll go with that. I had pizza yesterday, so... Okay, then. What about the hamburger? Sounds good. I'll go with that. What's the man going to order? A man and a woman are looking over a menu at a restaurant. What's the man going to order? What are you going to order? The pizza looks delicious. I think I'll go with that. I had pizza yesterday, so... Okay, then. What about the hamburger? Sounds good. I'll go with that. A man is calling the doctor's office. What time does he need to be at the doctor's office by? Hello, how can I help you? What time do you close today? We close at 6 o'clock, but please come in before 5.30. Okay. Thank you. What time does he need to be at the doctor's office by? A man is calling the doctor's office. What time does he need to be at the doctor's office by? Hello, how can I help you? What time do you close today? We close at 6 o'clock, but please come in before 5.30. Okay. Thank you. A boy is reading from his journal. 
What was the first thing the boy did today? The weather was great today. I went swimming this afternoon at the pool. And I went to a movie in the evening. I also studied all morning. Today wasn't bad. What was the first thing the boy did today? A boy is reading from his journal. What was the first thing the boy did today? The weather was great today. I went swimming this afternoon at the pool. And I went to a movie in the evening. I also studied all morning. Today wasn't bad. A woman and a man are looking at a photograph. Which photo are they looking at? This is a photo of the soccer team your son is on, isn't it? Which one is your son? This one. Oh, he's the tallest one. Yep, he's even taller than the coach. Which photo are they looking at? A woman and a man are looking at a photograph. Which photo are they looking at? This is a photo of the soccer team your son is on, isn't it? Which one is your son? This one. Oh, he's the tallest one. Yep, he's even taller than the coach. A man and a woman are talking. When are they going to see the movie? Why don't we go see a movie on Saturday? Yes, I'd love to, but I have to work a shift in the morning. What time will you finish? I'll finish at 2 o'clock. Then let's meet up at the cafe at 3 o'clock and see a movie at 4 o'clock. Okay. When are they going to see the movie? A man and a woman are talking. When are they going to see the movie? Why don't we go see a movie on Saturday? Yes, I'd love to, but I have to work a shift in the morning. What time will you finish? I'll finish at 2 o'clock. Then let's meet up at the cafe at 3 o'clock and see a movie at 4 o'clock. Okay. A man is talking with a salesperson at the mall. Which shirt is he going to buy? Hmm. Which shirt do you think is better, the white one or the blue one? Well, I think the blue one is better. It goes well with this gray jacket. You think so? But it doesn't go so well with this red tie, does it? Well, that's true. Okay, then I'll take the white one, not the blue one. Which shirt is he going to buy? A man is talking with a salesperson at the mall. Which shirt is he going to buy? Hmm, which shirt do you think is better, the white one or the blue one? Well, I think the blue one is better. It goes well with this gray jacket. You think so? But it doesn't go so well with this red tie, does it? Well, that's true. Okay, then I'll take the white one, not the blue one. A man is at a hamburger place. Which meal is he going to order? Excuse me, could I have the value meal, please? Sure thing. Which do you want, french fries or salad? French fries. Okay. What will you have to drink? Coke, please. Which meal is he going to order? A man is at a hamburger place. Which meal is he going to order? Excuse me, could I have the value meal, please? Sure thing. Which do you want, french fries or salad? French fries. Okay. What will you have to drink? Coke, please. A teacher is baking a cake. What did the teacher put in it? Today we're baking a cake. First, mix butter and sugar. Then add two eggs and mix them well. Add flour and mix it a little bit. Put it in the oven and bake it for 50 minutes.
That's it. What did the teacher put in it? A teacher is baking a cake. What did the teacher put in it? Today we're baking a cake. First, mix butter and sugar. Then add two eggs and mix them well. Add flour and mix it a little bit. Put it in the oven and bake it for 50 minutes. That's it. A man and a woman are talking. What are they going to do first? What do you want to do today? I want to go see a movie. Okay, I want to watch the baseball game on TV. Also, I want to go shopping. The baseball game starts at 1 o'clock. Okay, so let's see the movie first, and then you can watch the baseball game. All right, then we'll go shopping in the evening. What are they going to do first? A man and a woman are talking. What are they going to do first? What do you want to do today? I want to go see a movie. Okay, I want to watch the baseball game on TV. Also, I want to go shopping. The baseball game starts at 1 o'clock. Okay, so let's see the movie first, and then you can watch the baseball game. All right, then we'll go shopping in the evening. A teacher and a student are talking. When will the student go to the teacher's office? I didn't really understand today's class. I see. What was confusing? Several things. Do you have time now? Actually, I'm a little busy. Could you come to my office in the afternoon? I'll be there from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. I'll be there at 2 p.m. When will the student go to the teacher's office? A teacher and a student are talking. When will the student go to the teacher's office? I didn't really understand today's class. I see. What was confusing? Several things. Do you have time now? Actually, I'm a little busy. Could you come to my office in the afternoon? I'll be there from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, I'll be there at 2 p.m. A woman is having lunch in a restaurant. What is she going to order? Would you like to have coffee or dessert after the meal? What desserts do you have? We have pudding and apple pie. Hmm, actually, I'll just have coffee. Do you want cream or sugar? Cream, please. What is she going to order? A woman is having lunch in a restaurant. What is she going to order? Would you like to have coffee or dessert after the meal? What desserts do you have? We have pudding and apple pie. Hmm, actually, I'll just have coffee. Do you want cream or sugar? Cream, please. A woman is waiting for a man. Where is the woman now? Hey, really sorry, but it looks like I'll be 30 minutes late. Okay, I'll wait for you at the cafe. Cafe? Where is it? It's next to the bookstore. There's a bakery across from the cafe. Okay. Where is the woman now? A woman is waiting for a man. Where is the woman now? Hey, really sorry, but it looks like I'll be 30 minutes late. Okay, I'll wait for you at the cafe. Cafe? Where is it? It's next to the bookstore. There's a bakery across from the cafe. Okay. A man and a woman are talking about summer vacation. What is the woman going to do on her summer vacation? 
Have you already planned for the summer vacation? Not yet. I'm thinking about going to the sea or the mountains. I'm going to the beach with some friends. We're going surfing. Sounds nice. Why don't you come with us? Wow, sure. Thanks. What is the woman going to do on her summer vacation? A man and a woman are talking about summer vacation. What is the woman going to do on her summer vacation? Have you already planned for the summer vacation? Not yet. I'm thinking about going to the sea or the mountains. I'm going to the beach with some friends. We're going surfing. Sounds nice. Why don't you come with us? Wow, sure. Thanks. A man and a woman are talking. What did the woman eat this morning? Oh, I'm hungry. Did you eat anything for breakfast? Yes, I did, but only a little. What did you eat? I had yogurt and coffee. That's not enough. You'll need some bread and fruit, too. What did the woman eat this morning? A man and a woman are talking. What did the woman eat this morning? Oh, I'm hungry. Did you eat anything for breakfast? Yes, I did, but only a little. What did you eat? I had yogurt and coffee. That's not enough. You'll need some bread and fruit, too. A woman is in a department store. Which floor is she going to? Excuse me, where are the children's clothes? They're on the fifth and sixth floors. Do you also have baby clothes? Yes, they're on the sixth floor. We have a lot there. Thank you very much. I'll go and have a look there. Which floor is she going to? A woman is in a department store. Which floor is she going to? Excuse me, where are the children's clothes? They're on the fifth and sixth floors. Do you also have baby clothes? Yes, they're on the sixth floor. We have a lot there. Thank you very much. I'll go and have a look there. A man and a woman are talking. How old is the man now? Your birthday is really soon, isn't it? Yep, it's the day after tomorrow. How old are you going to be? I'm turning 60. Congratulations. We should celebrate. Thank you very much. It's kind of you to say. How old is the man now? A man and a woman are talking. How old is the man now? Your birthday is really soon, isn't it? Yep, it's the day after tomorrow. How old are you going to be? I'm turning 60. Congratulations. We should celebrate. Thank you very much. It's kind of you to say. A woman is looking at clothes in a boutique. What is she going to buy? Wow, this blue skirt and that white skirt. I like them both. The white skirt is really popular right now. The blue one's a bit expensive, too. Well, that's true, but it suits you. Um, I can't afford both. I'll take the white one. An excellent choice. Thank you very much. What is she going to buy? A woman is looking at clothes in a boutique. What is she going to buy? Wow, this blue skirt and that white skirt. I like them both. The white skirt is really popular right now. The blue one's a bit expensive, too. Well, that's true, but it suits you. Um, I can't afford both. I'll take the white one. An excellent choice. Thank you very much.
A man and a woman are talking. How many people in total are coming to the party? The party's tomorrow. Who's coming? Well, the two of us, two friends of mine, and my pottery teacher. That will make five then. Oh, well, my teacher's also bringing his wife. Wow, a big party then. How many people in total are coming to the party? A man and a woman are talking. How many people in total are coming to the party? The party's tomorrow. Who's coming? Well, the two of us, two friends of mine, and my pottery teacher. That will make five then. Oh, well, my teacher's also bringing his wife. Wow, a big party then. A woman bought a bed. Where is she going to put it? Your new bed. It's huge. Yep. I can't put it by the door. Let's put it at the other end of the room. Shall we put it in the middle? No. Let's put it in the corner. Okay. Sounds good. Can you help me lift it? Where is she going to put it? A woman bought a bed. Where is she going to put it? Your new bed. It's huge. Yep. I can't put it by the door. Let's put it at the other end of the room. Shall we put it in the middle? No. Let's put it in the corner. Okay. Sounds good. Can you help me lift it? A teacher is talking to some students. What will the students bring with them the next day? Tomorrow, we're going to a museum. Bring a pen and notebook and something to drink. We'll have lunch in the restaurant at the museum, so you don't need to bring a sandwich. What about an umbrella? It might be raining, so please bring one. Okay. What will the students bring with them the next day? A teacher is talking to some students. What will the students bring with them the next day? Tomorrow, we're going to a museum. Bring a pen and notebook and something to drink. We'll have lunch in the restaurant at the museum, so you don't need to bring a sandwich. What about an umbrella? It might be raining, so please bring one. Okay. A woman is talking with a store employee. Which floor is the woman going to? Excuse me, where are the women's clothes? On the third, fourth, and fifth floors. Which floor has coats? The fourth floor. The elevator is right over there. The fourth floor? Okay, thank you. Which floor is the woman going to? A woman is talking with a store employee. Which floor is the woman going to? Excuse me, where are the women's clothes? On the third, fourth, and fifth floors. Which floor has coats? The fourth floor. The elevator is right over there. The fourth floor? Okay, thank you. A man and a woman are talking. Where is the key? Where is the key to the apartment? I left it on the table. It's not there. Try under the table. Nope, not there. Hmm, it's not in my pocket either. Oh, it was in my bag. Where is the key? A man and a woman are talking. Where is the key? Where is the key to the apartment? I left it on the table. It's not there. Try under the table. Nope, not there. 
Hmm, it's not in my pocket either. Oh, it was in my bag. A man and a woman are talking. When is the man painting? Do you paint every day? Yep, from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. 9 to 7? 10 hours every day? Well, yeah, it's my job. When is the man painting? A man and a woman are talking. When is the man painting? Do you paint every day? Yep, from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. 9 to 7? 10 hours every day? Well, yeah, it's my job. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. A man is looking for a birthday present for his wife at a jewelry shop. Which necklace is he going to buy? May I help you? I'm looking for a birthday present for my wife. What do you recommend? Well, what about this necklace? Hmm, it looks a little long. What about these over here? We have one with a flower pendant and another one with a heart. I'm looking for something a bit more sophisticated. How much is this pearl necklace over here? It's $5,000. Hmm, that's too expensive. Okay, I'll take the first one. Sure thing. Here you are. Which necklace is he going to buy? A man is looking for a birthday present for his wife at a jewelry shop. Which necklace is he going to buy? May I help you? I'm looking for a birthday present for my wife. What do you recommend? Well, what about this necklace? Hmm, it looks a little long. What about these over here? We have one with a flower pendant and another one with a heart. I'm looking for something a bit more sophisticated. How much is this pearl necklace over here? It's $5,000. Hmm, that's too expensive. Okay, I'll take the first one. Sure thing. Here you are. A man and a woman are talking about printers in the office. Where is the old printer? Where should we put the new printer? Hmm. I think we should put it where the old printer is now. But the old one still works. We're going to keep using it. Okay, so we can't put the new one there. It's too bad. It would be nice to have the new one in the bookshelf next to the door, but there's only room for one printer there. Okay then, I think we should put it on the other side of the room. Right. How about next to the window? That sounds good. Where is the old printer? A man and a woman are talking about printers in the office. Where is the old printer? Where should we put the new printer? Hmm, I think we should put it where the old printer is now. But the old one still works. We're going to keep using it. Okay, so we can't put the new one there. It's too bad. It would be nice to have the new one in the bookshelf next to the door, but there's only room for one printer there. Okay then, I think we should put it on the other side of the room. Right. How about next to the window? That sounds good. A man is talking with his wife on the phone. What's he going to buy? Hey, heading home now. Okay. Could you buy something on the way home? Sure. What do you want me to get? We need some milk and bread for tomorrow's breakfast. Milk and bread. Got it. How many cartons of milk? One should be fine. Okay. Anything else? One second. Let me check if we have butter. Okay, we've got some. All right. Do we have any beer left? Yes, we still have a bottle here. Okay. So... We don't need to buy any right now. Right. I think we're good. Thank you.
What's he going to buy? A man is talking with his wife on the phone. What's he going to buy? Hey, heading home now. Okay. Could you buy something on the way home? Sure. What do you want me to get? We need some milk and bread for tomorrow's breakfast. Milk and bread. Got it. How many cartons of milk? One should be fine. Okay. Anything else? One second. Let me check if we have butter. Okay, we've got some. All right. Do we have any beer left? Yes, we still have a bottle here. Okay, so we don't need to buy any right now. Right, I think we're good. Thank you. You're listening to the weather forecast. What's the forecast? We'll have sunny weather all through the morning. In the afternoon, though, it's going to get cloudy and we'll have rain in the night. The rain will continue through the night until early tomorrow morning when the sun will start coming out again. What's the forecast? You're listening to the weather forecast. What's the forecast? We'll have sunny weather all through the morning. In the afternoon, though, it's going to get cloudy and we'll have rain in the night. The rain will continue through the night until early tomorrow morning when the sun will start coming out again. A man and a woman are talking about the design of the company business card. Which design did they decide on? We've got some new designs for the company business card. Which one do you think is best? Let's see. I think the company name should be bigger. Okay, then. It should be one of these. Right. I like these because the company name is big and on top. One of these has a space for a photo. What do you think? Hmm. I think it makes the text a little too small. Yeah, the text could be a little hard to read with the picture. Okay, then. Let's go with the other one. Which design did they decide on? A man and a woman are talking about the design of the company business card. Which design did they decide on? We've got some new designs for the company business card. Which one do you think is best? Let's see. I think the company name should be bigger. Okay, then. It should be one of these. Right. I like these because the company name is big and on top. One of these has a space for a photo. What do you think? Hmm, I think it makes the text a little too small. Yeah, the text could be a little hard to read with the picture. Okay then, let's go with the other one. A woman is looking for a bus stop. She asks a man where one is. Where is the bus stop? Excuse me. Do you know if there's a bus stop near here? Yes, one is very close. First, go straight and turn at the second traffic light. Then, turn left at the corner of the bookstore, you will see a bank. The bus stop is in front of the bank. Got it. Thank you so much. Where is the bus stop? A woman is looking for a bus stop. She asks a man where one is. Where is the bus stop? Excuse me, do you know if there's a bus stop near here? Yes, one is very close. First, go straight and turn at the second traffic light. Then, turn left at the corner of the bookstore, you will see a bank. The bus stop is in front of the bank. Got it. Thank you so much. A woman is talking with her boss. What will they drink in the meeting? We'll be having a meeting with Michael from our New York office this afternoon. Do you know if there are any drinks left? We have some coffee. Hmm, 
Michael doesn't drink coffee. Do we have any bottled water? Yes. I think there's still some left. Excellent. Very good. Do you want anything? I'll have the same thing too. What will they drink in the meeting? A woman is talking with her boss. What will they drink in the meeting? We'll be having a meeting with Michael from our New York office this afternoon. Do you know if there are any drinks left? We have some coffee. Hmm. Michael doesn't drink coffee. Do we have any bottled water? Yes. I think there's still some left. Excellent. Very good. Do you want anything? I'll have the same thing too. A woman is talking to a salesperson at the mall. Which computer is she going to buy? Excuse me, I'm looking for a really light ultrabook. Okay, how about this one? It's really flat and light. It looks nice. Can you watch DVDs on this computer? I'm afraid not. You can watch DVDs on that one, but. It's a little bit larger and heavier. Hmm. Yeah. This is too heavy. I'll buy the first one. Thank you so much. You can choose from white, black, or silver. I want the black one. Which computer is she going to buy? A woman is talking to a salesperson at the mall. Which computer is she going to buy? Excuse me, I'm looking for a really light ultrabook. Okay, how about this one? It's really flat and light. It looks nice. Can you watch DVDs on this computer? I'm afraid not. You can watch DVDs on that one, but it's a little bit larger and heavier. Hmm. Yeah. This is too heavy. I'll buy the first one. Thank you so much. You can choose from white, black, or silver. I want the black one. A man is talking with a woman about his upcoming trip. When is he coming back to Salt Lake City? You're going on a trip next week, right? Yes. I'm going to Hong Kong on Tuesday and will stay there for two nights. Then you're going to Taipei. Yes, I'm going to Taipei on Thursday and will stay there overnight, and then I'll come back home. So, you'll be at the meeting on Saturday, right? Yes, that's right. When is he coming back to Salt Lake City? A man is talking with a woman about his upcoming trip. When is he coming back to Salt Lake City? You're going on a trip next week, right? Yes, I'm going to Hong Kong on Tuesday and will stay there for two nights. Then you're going to Taipei. Yes, I'm going to Taipei on Thursday and will stay there overnight, and then I'll come back home. So. You'll be at the meeting on Saturday, right? Yes, that's right. A man is ordering a pizza over the phone. What does he order? Thank you for calling. This is Pizza Station. Hi. Can I have a garlic tomato pizza? A garlic tomato pizza? Okay. Which size? A large, please, and cut it into eight pieces. Sure. Do you want anything else? Yes. I'll have four breadsticks and two cans of Coke. All right. We're going to deliver it in about forty minutes. What does he order? A man is ordering a pizza over the phone. What does he order? Thank you for calling. This is Pizza Station. Hi. Can I have a garlic tomato pizza? 
A garlic tomato pizza? Okay, which size? A large, please, and cut it into eight pieces. Sure. Do you want anything else? Yes. I'll have four breadsticks and two cans of Coke. All right. We're going to deliver it in about 40 minutes. A man is going to have dinner at a restaurant. What time will the restaurant close? Excuse me, how late are you open? We're open until 11 p.m., but the kitchen closes at 10 p.m. Is that okay? Yes, sure, thanks. It's pretty late, so I thought you were already closed. We used to close this place at 10 p.m., but we pushed it back. Oh, I see. But we closed the restaurant at 9 on Sunday. Got it. What time will the restaurant close? A man is going to have dinner at a restaurant. What time will the restaurant close? Excuse me, how late are you open? We're open until 11 p.m., but the kitchen closes at 10 p.m. Is that okay? Yes, sure, thanks. It's pretty late, so I thought you were already closed. We used to close this place at 10 p.m., but we pushed it back. Oh, I see. But we closed the restaurant at 9 on Sunday. Got it. A husband and wife are shopping online. When will the vacuum cleaner be delivered? Which vacuum do you like better? Well. I think this one looks nice. Yeah, it does. It'll take three or four days to deliver. Can we be here next Saturday? No, we're going to play golf Saturday morning. Okay, then maybe we can have it delivered Sunday. Sounds good. Hey, let's remember not to stay out too late Friday night. We have to get up early on Sunday. I know. When will the vacuum cleaner be delivered? A husband and wife are shopping online. When will the vacuum cleaner be delivered? Which vacuum do you like better? Well, I think this one looks nice. Yeah, it does. It'll take three or four days to deliver. Can we be here next Saturday? No, we're going to play golf Saturday morning. Okay, then maybe we can have it delivered Sunday. Sounds good. Hey, let's remember not to stay out too late Friday night. We have to get up early on Sunday. I know. A woman is talking to her doctor. Which and how many medicines will she have to take every day? Well, I'm giving you three kinds of medicine. Please take them after dinner every day. Okay. Take two of the round pills, one capsule, and one eardrop each time. Sure. I'm giving you a three-day course of medicine. If you're not better after that, come and see me again. Thank you very much. Get well soon. Which and how many medicines will she have to take every day? A woman is talking to her doctor. Which and how many medicines will she have to take every day? Well, I'm giving you three kinds of medicine. Please take them after dinner every day. Okay. Take two of the round pills, one capsule, and one eardrop each time. Sure. I'm giving you a three-day course of medicine. If you're not better after that, come and see me again. Thank you very much. Get well soon. A man and a woman are talking. Who lives with the man? I'd like to introduce you to my family. Is there some time soon you could come over? Wow. This is a big step. 
Could you tell me a bit more about your family before I meet them? Sure. My father works in computers and his hobby is fishing. My mother runs a restaurant and she's good at cooking. They live nearby. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes. I have an older sister and a younger brother. My sister is married and is living abroad. My brother is in law school over on the East Coast. It sounds like you have a nice family. I'd love to meet them. Who lives with the man? A man and a woman are talking. Who lives with the man? I'd like to introduce you to my family. Is there some time soon you could come over? Wow, this is a big step. Could you tell me a bit more about your family before I meet them? Sure. My father works in computers and his hobby is fishing. My mother runs a restaurant and she's good at cooking. They live nearby. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes. I have an older sister and a younger brother. My sister is married and is living abroad. My brother is in law school over on the East Coast. It sounds like you have a nice family. I'd love to meet them. A man is in a glasses shop. Which pair of glasses does he choose? Hello, are you looking for glasses? Yes, my eyes have been quite bad lately. Okay, do you like square lenses? Well, I've been wearing square-shaped glasses for a long time, so I'd like to try something else. Sure, I recommend these round ones. Hmm, I don't think it suits me like I expected. I'll take the same shape as my current glasses. Do you have any with black frames? Certainly. How about this pair? Yes, I'll take these. Which pair of glasses does he choose? A man is in a glasses shop. Which pair of glasses does he choose? Hello, are you looking for glasses? Yes, my eyes have been quite bad lately. Okay, do you like square lenses? Well, I've been wearing square-shaped glasses for a long time, so I'd like to try something else. Sure, I recommend these round ones. Hmm, I don't think it suits me like I expected. I'll take the same shape as my current glasses. Do you have any with black frames? Certainly. How about this pair? Yes, I'll take these. A man and a woman are talking on the phone. When is the man going to see the dentist? I'm sorry, but can you please cancel my appointment for today? Sure thing. Is there another day when you can come in? How about Saturday? The morning is better for me. I'm afraid this Saturday is fully booked. We can put you in for next Saturday, though. Actually, one of my teeth is starting to hurt. Can we do late afternoon on Thursday? Yes, both 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock are available. 6 o'clock sounds good. Sure thing. We'll schedule you for then. When is the man going to see the dentist? A man and a woman are talking on the phone. When is the man going to see the dentist? I'm sorry, but can you please cancel my appointment for today? Sure thing. Is there another day when you can come in? How about Saturday? The morning is better for me. I'm afraid this Saturday is fully booked. We can put you in for next Saturday, though. Actually, one of my teeth is starting to hurt. Can we do late afternoon on Thursday? Yes, both 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock are available. 6 o'clock sounds good. Sure thing. We'll schedule you for then. A woman will be visiting her friend's apartment. What is her friend's apartment number? 
can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at 12 o'clock. Right. Your apartment is 1018, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you. What is her friend's apartment number? A woman will be visiting her friend's apartment. What is her friend's apartment number? Can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at 12 o'clock. Right. Your apartment is 1018, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you. A man is renting some DVDs. How many DVDs is he going to rent? Hello, how may I help you? I'd like to rent these DVDs, please. Three altogether. You know, you get a discount if you rent five. Sounds nice, but I won't have time to watch that many movies. So I'll just take these three. We're offering a special discount right now, and you can get them for an extra week. Really? Awesome. I'll get two more. How many DVDs is he going to rent? A man is renting some DVDs. How many DVDs is he going to rent? Hello, how may I help you? I'd like to rent these DVDs, please. Three altogether. You know, you get a discount if you rent five. Sounds nice, but I won't have time to watch that many movies. So I'll just take these three. We're offering a special discount right now, and you can get them for an extra week. Really? Awesome. I'll get two more. A man and a woman are talking. Which clock are they looking at, and what time is it? Hey, what time is it? Sorry, no watch today, and I forgot my phone at home. Okay, I'm a bit worried that we won't make the train. Look, there's a clock at the station entrance. Nice, but it looks like the train will be here in five minutes. That's the 10 o'clock train, right? Right. We'd better hurry up. Which clock are they looking at, and what time is it? A man and a woman are talking. Which clock are they looking at, and what time is it? Hey, what time is it? Sorry, no watch today. And I forgot my phone at home. Okay, I'm a bit worried that we won't make the train. Look, there's a clock at the station entrance. Nice, but it looks like the train will be here in five minutes. That's the 10 o'clock train, right? Right, we'd better hurry up. A man is choosing his seat for a flight. Where is his seat? Do you have any seats available for the flight tomorrow night? Would you like to sit in regular economy or premium economy? Regular economy is fine. Hmm, thank you for waiting. We do have a few seats. Great. I'd like an aisle seat, please. I'm afraid there are no aisle seats left. Ah,、uh, okay. Could you just not put me in the middle? Would a window seat be okay? Sure. Thank you. Where is his seat?
A man is choosing his seat for a flight. Where is his seat? Do you have any seats available for the flight tomorrow night? Would you like to sit in regular economy or premium economy? Regular economy is fine. Hmm, thank you for waiting. We do have a few seats. Great. I'd like an aisle seat, please. I'm afraid there are no aisle seats left. Ah,、uh, okay. Could you just not put me in the middle? Would a window seat be okay? Sure. Thank you. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. A husband and a wife are looking at some floor plans. Which room are they going to see? How about this one? It's got a nice large living room. Hmm. I like a big living room, but I want the parking space. Let's see. How about this one? Yeah, that's nice. Should we go see this one? Wait a second. Isn't the closet a bit too small? Good point. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be one that's perfect. Wait. How about this one? It's got everything we need, doesn't it? And the closet is pretty large, too. Let's go see this one. Okay. Which room are they going to see? A husband and a wife are looking at some floor plans. Which room are they going to see? How about this one? It's got a nice large living room. Hmm. I like a big living room, but I want the parking space. Let's see. How about this one? Yeah, that's nice. Should we go see this one? Wait a second. Isn't the closet a bit too small? Good point. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be one that's perfect. Wait. How about this one? It's got everything we need, doesn't it? And the closet is pretty large, too. Let's go see this one. Okay. A man is making a reservation at a hotel. Which room is he going to stay in? Seaside Hotel, how may I help you? Hi, I'd like to stay for one night on September 22nd. Certainly, one night from September 22nd. How many people? Two. Would you like a smoking or a non smoking room, sir? Non smoking. The only non smoking room available on that day is a mountain view room. Is that okay? Well, I was hoping for an ocean view room. I'm sorry, but the only ocean view room available on that day is a smoking room. I see. Is there a non smoking ocean view room available on September 23rd? Yes, there is. Okay, we'll stay on September 23rd. Which room is he going to stay in? A man is making a reservation at a hotel. Which room is he going to stay in? Seaside Hotel, how may I help you? Hi, I'd like to stay for one night on September 22nd. Certainly, one night from September 22nd. How many people? Two. Would you like a smoking or a non smoking room, sir? Non smoking. The only non smoking room available on that day is a mountain view room. Is that okay? Well, I was hoping for an ocean view room. I'm sorry, but the only ocean view room available on that day is a smoking room. I see. Is there a non smoking ocean view room available on September 23rd? Yes, there is. Okay, we'll stay on September 23rd. A woman is talking to her hairstylist. How would she like to change her hair? Hi, may I help you? Hi, I've got a three o'clock reservation for Richie. Ah, yes. Welcome, Miss Richie. Please come this way. What can I do for you today? I'd like to change my hairstyle a little bit. Okay. What length would you like? About shoulder length. All right. And what about your bangs? Keep the bangs. Straight down or parted on the side? To the side a bit. Which side? Maybe a little left from the middle? Got it. We'll start with the shampoo, so please come this way. 
How would she like to change her hair? A woman is talking to her hairstylist. How would she like to change her hair? Hi, may I help you? Hi, I've got a three o'clock reservation for Richie. Ah, yes. Welcome, Miss Richie. Please come this way. What can I do for you today? I'd like to change my hairstyle a little bit. Okay. What length would you like? About shoulder length. All right. And what about your bangs? Keep the bangs. Straight down or parted on the side? To the side a bit. Which side? Maybe a little left from the middle? Got it. We'll start with the shampoo, so please come this way. A male and female student are looking at job advertisements. Which job is the female student going to apply for? Hey, what do you think about this job? The hourly pay is pretty high. Sure, the pay looks great, but could you really do a newspaper delivery route? Of course. I'm good at riding bikes, but I'm worried about waking up early. What about this one? The pay isn't as high, but you can work two or three days a week and start working from the evening. Oh, this one? A supermarket cashier, huh? Well, it would be good to work after school. This one for a coffee shop might be good too. Oh, yeah, I love that place, and it's on my way to school. Not bad, huh? Hmm, which one should I apply to? Which two is it between? The coffee shop and the newspaper delivery route? Yeah, the pay for the newspaper route is really nice. Okay, my mind's made up. I guess I'll just have to get up early. Which job is the female student going to apply for? A male and female student are looking at job advertisements. Which job is the female student going to apply for? Hey, what do you think about this job? The hourly pay is pretty high. Sure, the pay looks great, but could you really do a newspaper delivery route? Of course. I'm good at riding bikes, but I'm worried about waking up early. What about this one? The pay isn't as high, but you can work two or three days a week and start working from the evening. Oh, this one? A supermarket cashier, huh? Well, it would be good to work after school. This one for a coffee shop might be good, too. Oh, yeah, I love that place, and it's on my way to school. Not bad, huh? Hmm, which one should I apply to? Which two is it between? The coffee shop and the newspaper delivery route? Yeah, the pay for the newspaper route is really nice. Okay, my mind's made up. I guess I'll just have to get up early. A woman is trying on a dress and talking to a shop clerk. Which dress is she going to buy? It looks very nice on you, and it fits perfectly. Yeah, it fits, but I usually wear plain colors. I'm not used to this kind of a pattern. Well, I think you look great. Yeah? Still, it would take some courage for me to actually wear this. What about this dress, then? The pattern is much more reserved, so it won't feel as flashy. You're right. Let me try that one on. Go right ahead. What do you think, ma'am? This one suits me much more than the last. Do you have a long-sleeved version with this design? Yes, we do. Thanks. I'll buy that. Which dress is she going to buy? A woman is trying on a dress and talking to a shop clerk. Which dress is she going to buy? It looks very nice on you, and it fits perfectly. Yeah, it fits, but I usually wear plain colors. I'm not used to this kind of a pattern. Well, I think you look great. Yeah? Still, it would take some courage for me to actually wear this. What about this dress, then? The pattern is much more reserved, so it won't feel as flashy. You're right. Let me try that one on. Go right ahead. What do you think, ma'am? This one suits me much more than the last. Do you have a long-sleeved version with this design? Yes, we do. Thanks. I'll buy that. A president and his assistant are talking on the phone. Which document is the assistant going to deliver to the sales department? 
Hey, could you do me a favor? There's a document on my desk, and I need you to deliver it to the sales department. Sure. Which one is it? I think it's in a blue envelope. A blue envelope? Well, there are two blue envelopes on your desk. Ah, right there should be a red stamp in the upper right corner of the envelope. The other one should have a green stamp, but it's the orientation guide we hand out to new employees. The one with the red stamp. Okay, got it. Great. Please deliver it to the sales department by one o'clock. And make sure you give it to the manager directly. You know him, right? Yes, we've met several times. Good. And while you're at it, could you deliver the other envelope to HR? Sure thing. Which document is the assistant going to deliver to the sales department? A president and his assistant are talking on the phone. Which document is the assistant going to deliver to the sales department? Hey, could you do me a favor? There's a document on my desk, and I need you to deliver it to the sales department. Sure. Which one is it? I think it's in a blue envelope. A blue envelope? Well, there are two blue envelopes on your desk. Ah, right there should be a red stamp in the upper right corner of the envelope. The other one should have a green stamp, but it's the orientation guide we hand out to new employees. The one with the red stamp. Okay, got it. Great. Please deliver it to the sales department by one o'clock. And make sure you give it to the manager directly. You know him, right? Yes, we've met several times. Good. And while you're at it, could you deliver the other envelope to HR? Sure thing. A woman is calling a restaurant on the phone. At which table was she having lunch? Hello. How can I help you? Hi. I was at your restaurant for lunch today, and I think I left my scarf there. You left your scarf at the table? Do you remember where you were seated? Well, it was in the back of the restaurant. Were you in the smoking area or the non-smoking area? The non-smoking area. How big was your table? It was a table for four people. Okay, I'll go check. Please wait for a moment. Thank you so much. At which table was she having lunch? A woman is calling a restaurant on the phone. At which table was she having lunch? Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I was at your restaurant for lunch today, and I think I left my scarf there. You left your scarf at the table? Do you remember where you were seated? Well, it was in the back of the restaurant. Were you in the smoking area or the non-smoking area? The non-smoking area. How big was your table? It was a table for four people. Okay, I'll go check. Please wait for a moment. Thank you so much. A man is looking for an apartment. Which apartment is he probably going to choose? Hi there, I'm looking for an apartment. Could you show me some floor plans? Sure thing. Will you be living alone? No, I'm married, and we're looking for a one-bedroom apartment with a study. Okay, how about this one? There are two rooms plus a living room. It's near a busy street, though, so it might not be very quiet. I see. I usually work at home, so I need a quiet place. And I'd prefer the living room to be square-shaped. Well, how about this one? It's located a bit far from downtown, but it's in a quiet residential area. There are two rooms and a living room, but one of the rooms is a little small. Hmm, we don't have too much stuff, so this one might work for us. We can show you another apartment with bigger rooms, but it's located further from downtown. No, thank you. Let's have a look at the second one you showed me. Which apartment is he probably going to choose? A man is looking for an apartment. Which apartment is he probably going to choose? Hi there, I'm looking for an apartment. Could you show me some floor plans? Sure thing. 
Will you be living alone? No, I'm married, and we're looking for a one bedroom apartment with a study. Okay, how about this one? There are two rooms plus a living room. It's near a busy street, though, so it might not be very quiet. I see. I usually work at home, so I need a quiet place, and I'd prefer the living room to be square shaped. Well, how about this one? It's located a bit far from downtown, but it's in a quiet residential area. There are two rooms and a living room, but one of the rooms is a little small. Hmm, we don't have too much stuff, so this one might work for us. We can show you another apartment with bigger rooms, but it's located further from downtown. No, thank you. Let's have a look at the second one you showed me. A woman is ordering a birthday cake. Which cake is she going to order? Excuse me, I'd like to order a birthday cake for my daughter. Great. Could you tell me what kind of cake you're looking for? My daughter likes chocolate, so I think a chocolate cream cake would be good. And can you put strawberries on it? Absolutely. We have round and square cakes. Which one would you prefer? Hmm. A round one, please. Okay. How old is your daughter going to be? She'll be 12. Okay. Then we'll get 12 candles ready. Do you want to write a message? Yes. Please write happy birthday. All right. Do you want that written in pink? If so, we'll put it on a white plate. Otherwise, we can write it in white and put it on a pink plate. Please write it in pink and put it on a white plate. Which cake is she going to order? A woman is ordering a birthday cake. Which cake is she going to order? Excuse me, I'd like to order a birthday cake for my daughter. Great. Could you tell me what kind of cake you're looking for? My daughter likes chocolate, so I think a chocolate cream cake would be good. And can you put strawberries on it? Absolutely. We have round and square cakes. Which one would you prefer? Hmm. A round one, please. Okay. How old is your daughter going to be? She'll be 12. Okay. Then we'll get 12 candles ready. Do you want to write a message? Yes. Please write, Happy Birthday. All right. Do you want that written in pink? If so, we'll put it on a white plate. Otherwise, we can write it in white and put it on a pink plate. Please write it in pink and put it on a white plate. A man and a woman are discussing plans for their upcoming move. When are they going to move? I think we should decide on the moving date and call a moving company. Sounds good. I was just looking at some moving companies. I don't want to pay a lot of money. Definitely. This company here will give us a discount of 10% if we book at least one month before the moving day. One month before? Then we have to move after December 15th in order to get the discount. Yep, and there's an additional discount if we book on a weekday. A weekday? Well, I have a meeting that Monday morning, and the exhibition is on Tuesday and Wednesday, so... Friday would be good because we could then organize the new place over the weekend. Yeah, but wait a second. They say 15% off Monday to Thursday and 5% off on Friday. Well, what do you want to do? Let's go for the biggest discount. I'll be done with the exhibition by then anyway. When are they going to move? A man and a woman are discussing plans for their upcoming move. When are they going to move? I think we should decide on the moving date and call a moving company. Sounds good. I was just looking at some moving companies. I don't want to pay a lot of money. Definitely. This company here will give us a discount of 10% if we book at least one month before the moving day. One month before? Then we have to move after December 15th in order to get the discount. Yep. And there's an additional discount if we book on a weekday. A weekday? Well, I have a meeting that Monday morning, and the exhibition is on Tuesday and Wednesday, so... Friday would be good because we could then organize the new place over the weekend. Yeah, but wait a second. They say 15% off Monday to Thursday 
and 5% off on Friday. Well, what do you want to do? Let's go for the biggest discount. I'll be done with the exhibition by then anyway. A man is shopping during a sale. What will he buy? Excuse me, do you only sell this shirt in packs of three? We can sell them separately, but it's going to cost you more per shirt. All right, well, I don't need three of the same shirt. You know, if you buy this set of three ties, we can give you a discount on shirts so you can buy three for the price of one. I see. A set of three ties and I also get to choose three shirts for the price of one? That's right. Okay. I don't need three shirts, but I'll give the other shirts to someone else. That's a nice idea, sir. What will he buy? A man is shopping during a sale. What will he buy? Excuse me, do you only sell this shirt in packs of three? We can sell them separately, but it's going to cost you more per shirt. All right, well, I don't need three of the same shirt. You know, if you buy this set of three ties, we can give you a discount on shirts so you can buy three for the price of one. I see. A set of three ties and I also get to choose three shirts for the price of one? That's right. Okay. I don't need three shirts, but I'll give the other shirts to someone else. That's a nice idea, sir. A woman is giving a report about the sales of bags. Which bag is selling best? Here's a report on the bags that we started selling last month. First of all, when it came to color, black was the number one seller. It's followed by white and sky blue. Yellow didn't sell very well. So yellow was a dud. Well, what about the size? Bigger bags sold more than smaller ones. Bags that could fit a magazine or a regular letter-sized notebook in them were the most popular. OK. Regarding handles, Leather was more popular than ones made with a metal chain. I see. It looks like bags with a more formal style sell better. That's right. I think we should use more neutral colors, such as beige or brown, for our new collection. OK, then. Let's go with the beige for the next new color. You can stop the production of yellow bags. Got it. Which bag is selling best? A woman is giving a report about the sales of bags. Which bag is selling best? Here's a report on the bags that we started selling last month. First of all, when it came to color, black was the number one seller. It's followed by white and sky blue. Yellow didn't sell very well. So yellow was a dud. Well, what about the size? Bigger bags sold more than smaller ones. Bags that could fit a magazine or a regular letter-sized notebook in them were the most popular. OK. Regarding handles, leather was more popular than ones made with a metal chain. I see. It looks like bags with a more formal style sell better. That's right. I think we should use more neutral colors, such as beige or brown, for our new collection. OK, then. Let's go with the beige for the next new color. You can stop the production of yellow bags. Got it. A man is calling a doctor's office. What times are available for the health checkup? Hi, I'd like to make an appointment for a health checkup. Sure. Health checkups are a bit different from standard examinations and are available only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Which day would you like? OK, then is Saturday OK? Yes, it looks open. We're only open in the morning on Saturdays. Is that OK? Morning only? Hmm, what time are you open until on weekdays? We're open until 6 p.m. on Mondays and 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. I see. What time do you open in the morning? We open at 8 a.m. Next week, we're full all morning during the week. But if you can wait until the week after that, both Monday and Wednesday are open from 8 a.m. 
Well, I'll call again after I check my schedule. All right, sir. What times are available for the health checkup? A man is calling a doctor's office. What times are available for the health checkup? Hi, I'd like to make an appointment for a health checkup. Sure. Health checkups are a bit different from standard examinations and are available only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Which day would you like? Okay, then is Saturday okay? Yes, it looks open. We're only open in the morning on Saturdays. Is that okay? Morning only? Hmm, what time are you open until on weekdays? We're open until 6 p.m. on Mondays and 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. I see. What time do you open in the morning? We open at 8 a.m. Next week, we're full all morning during the week. But if you can wait until the week after that, both Monday and Wednesday are open from 8 a.m. Well, I'll call again after I check my schedule. All right, sir. A man and a woman are talking. Which one is the woman's daughter? Sorry to bother you, but could you go and get my daughter? Sure. Does she know me? Yeah. She's seen you in pictures, so she should be able to recognize you. That's helpful. So what does she look like? She has curly black hair. She's slim and taller than average. Do you have any idea what she'll be wearing? She said she'll be wearing the hat I gave her for her birthday. It's white with a black ribbon. It sounds like it will be easy enough. All right, I'll go get her now. Thank you. Which one is the woman's daughter? A man and a woman are talking. Which one is the woman's daughter? Sorry to bother you, but could you go and get my daughter? Sure. Does she know me? Yeah. She's seen you in pictures, so she should be able to recognize you. That's helpful. So what does she look like? She has curly black hair. She's slim and taller than average. Do you have any idea what she'll be wearing? She said she'll be wearing the hat I gave her for her birthday. It's white with a black ribbon. It sounds like it will be easy enough. All right, I'll go get her now. Thank you. A man is talking with a woman about a lost wallet. Where will the man go to look for it? This is terrible. I can't find my wallet. I must have left it somewhere. What? Do you remember the last time you used it? No, I can't remember. Well then, let's try to think of where you went today. Okay, first I went to see a movie with a friend. We went to a coffee shop after that, but my friend paid so I didn't need to pull out my wallet. But did you use it when you bought the movie tickets? Yes, I definitely used it there. And later we went to the gym. After that, I realized my wallet was gone. Did you have to use your wallet at the gym? No, because the membership fee is automatically paid by credit card. But wait, I did buy some juice at the vending machine at the entrance. All right then, let's go there and look for it. Where will the man go to look for it? A man is talking with a woman about a lost wallet. Where will the man go to look for it? This is terrible. I can't find my wallet. I must have left it somewhere. What? Do you remember the last time you used it? No, I can't remember. Well then, let's try to think of where you went today. Okay, first I went to see a movie with a friend. We went to a coffee shop after that, but my friend paid so I didn't need to pull out my wallet. But did you use it when you bought the movie tickets? Yes, I definitely used it there. And later we went to the gym. After that, I realized my wallet was gone. Did you have to use your wallet at the gym? No, because the membership fee is automatically paid by credit card. But wait, I did buy some juice at the vending machine at the entrance.
All right then, let's go there and look for it. A male and a female student are talking while looking at their class schedule. What is the male student's schedule on the day of the meeting? We have to have a meeting about our next group presentation. Right. When are you free? I come to school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, so either Wednesday or Thursday would work. How about Thursday afternoon then? On Thursdays, I have lectures until 4 p.m. I can make it after economics class, but then I have to be at work at 5 o'clock. So, I will only be available for an hour. Hmm, that sounds a bit too short. How about Wednesday then? I have modern history at 9, then international law at 3, so I'm free in between. I have Asian history at noon, then a part time job in the evening. What about meeting early in the morning and talking before your first class? Hmm, I'm not a morning person. Why don't we meet on Thursday evening and I will reschedule my job for another day? Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you in the cafeteria after class. What is the male student's schedule on the day of the meeting? A male and a female student are talking while looking at their class schedule. What is the male student's schedule on the day of the meeting? We have to have a meeting about our next group presentation. Right. When are you free? I come to school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, so either Wednesday or Thursday would work. How about Thursday afternoon then? On Thursdays, I have lectures until 4 p.m. I can make it after economics class, but then I have to be at work at 5 o'clock. So, I will only be available for an hour. Hmm, that sounds a bit too short. How about Wednesday then? I have modern history at 9, then international law at 3, so I'm free in between. I have Asian history at noon, then a part time job in the evening. What about meeting early in the morning and talking before your first class? Hmm, I'm not a morning person. Why don't we meet on Thursday evening and I will reschedule my job for another day? Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you in the cafeteria after class. A man and a woman are talking while looking at a picture. Which one is the woman's brother? I heard you have a twin brother. I didn't know that. I do, but people say we don't look alike. See, my brother is in this picture. But can you tell which one he is? Hmm, I don't see anyone who looks like you. Maybe this one with the cap? Nope, that's not him. He has black hair, just like me. Then is it this tall guy? Nope, he's not that tall. I still can't find him. You really don't look alike. I know. Maybe his glasses are making it more difficult. Glasses? Is he this one, second from the left? Yep, you found him. Do you think we look alike? No, not really. Which one is the woman's brother? A man and a woman are talking while looking at a picture. Which one is the woman's brother? I heard you have a twin brother. I didn't know that. I do, but people say we don't look alike. See, my brother is in this picture. But can you tell which one he is? Hmm, I don't see anyone who looks like you. Maybe this one with the cap? Nope, that's not him. He has black hair, just like me. Then is it this tall guy? Nope, he's not that tall. I still can't find him. You really don't look alike. I know. Maybe his glasses are making it more difficult. Glasses? Is he this one, second from the left? Yep, you found him. Do you think we look alike? No, not really. A man and a woman are talking while looking at a poll regarding kids' favorite subjects. Which chart shows the results for 15 year old kids? Hey, look at this article. It's about the three most popular subjects among 10 year old and 15 year old kids. Oh, let me see. 
Physical education is on the top of the 10 year old's list. Physical education is still popular even though I have heard that kids these days spend less time playing sports. Yes, and music came in second. When you get older, you become interested in different subjects. The most popular subject among the 15 year old kids is history. Right. Oh, and politics came in second. Information technology ranked third, but it wasn't even a subject in school when we were that age. What was the third most popular subject for 10 year old kids? Let's see. Oh, it was art. I wonder if they design things in art class using computer software these days. Which chart shows the results for 15 year old kids? A man and a woman are talking while looking at a poll regarding kids' favorite subjects. Which chart shows the results for 15 year old kids? Hey, look at this article. It's about the three most popular subjects among 10 year old and 15 year old kids. Oh, let me see. Physical education is on the top of the 10 year old's list. Physical education is still popular even though I have heard that kids these days spend less time playing sports. Yes, and music came in second. When you get older, you become interested in different subjects. The most popular subject among the 15 year old kids is history. Right. Oh, and politics came in second. Information technology ranked third, but it wasn't even a subject in school when we were that age. What was the third most popular subject for 10 year old kids? Let's see. Oh, it was art. I wonder if they design things in art class using computer software these days. There's a weather forecast on TV. What will the weather be like in the upcoming week? Here is the weather forecast for the upcoming week. The first half of the week will be mostly sunny with a chance of occasional cloudy skies. In the second half of the week, we will see overcast skies with scattered thunderstorms. As the weather takes a turn for the worse around midweek, the eastern parts of the city are most likely to be affected by these storms. The high temperatures throughout the week will be about the same as last year's average, which was 65 degrees. However, early in the week, the highs will be in the upper 60s, and later in the week, the temperatures will cool to highs in the low 60s. Low temperatures will continue to be in the low 40s, which is slightly colder than normal. The forecast for tomorrow is warm and sunny. Perfect weather for your holiday weekend. What will the weather be like in the upcoming week? There's a weather forecast on TV. What will the weather be like in the upcoming week? Here is the weather forecast for the upcoming week. The first half of the week will be mostly sunny with a chance of occasional cloudy skies. In the second half of the week, we will see overcast skies with scattered thunderstorms. As the weather takes a turn for the worse around midweek, the eastern parts of the city are most likely to be affected by these storms. The high temperatures throughout the week will be about the same as last year's average, which was 65 degrees. However, Early in the week, the highs will be in the upper 60s, and later in the week, the temperatures will cool to highs in the low 60s. Low temperatures will continue to be in the low 40s, which is slightly colder than normal. The forecast for tomorrow is warm and sunny. Perfect weather for your holiday weekend. A delivery person is talking to a receptionist. What will the delivery person do next? Choose the incorrect answer. Hi, I have deliveries for the human resources and accounting departments. Sure, they're both on the fourth floor. All right, I also need to pick something up from the sales department. The sales department has a first and second division. Which one is it? Let's see, it's the second division. The sales second division is on the second floor. There's an intercom at the entrance, so please call the person you're looking for. Okay, is that the right elevator over there? I'm so sorry, but that elevator is currently out of service for a safety inspection. Do you mind using the stairs over there? Not at all. Thank you very much. What will the delivery person do next? Choose the incorrect answer.
A delivery person is talking to a receptionist. What will the delivery person do next? Choose the incorrect answer. Hi, I have deliveries for the human resources and accounting departments. Sure, they're both on the fourth floor. All right, I also need to pick something up from the sales department. The sales department has a first and second division. Which one is it? Let's see. It's the second division. The sales second division is on the second floor. There's an intercom at the entrance, so please call the person you're looking for. Okay. Is that the right elevator over there? I'm so sorry, but that elevator is currently out of service for a safety inspection. Do you mind using the stairs over there? Not at all. Thank you very much. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. A man is reporting about his company's sales performance at a meeting. Which two charts is he using for his presentation? Please look at the handout. The left chart shows our company's sales over the past three years and the sales forecast for the current year. And the right chart shows the monthly breakdown in sales up to October of this year. Now, please have a look at the left chart. It shows that sales have been steadily increasing over the past three years. And if we can keep increasing our sales, the total sales for this year will show an increase over last year. Next, please look at the right chart. The right chart shows that the campaigns we ran in April and August were fairly effective. I see, but the sales decreased in May and September following the campaigns. Yes, but this kind of decrease is unavoidable. I expect the annual sales for this year will show an increase over last year if we can keep increasing our sales. Which two charts is he using for his presentation? A man is reporting about his company's sales performance at a meeting. Which two charts is he using for his presentation? Please look at the handout. The left chart shows our company's sales over the past three years and the sales forecast for the current year. And the right chart shows the monthly breakdown in sales up to October of this year. Now, please have a look at the left chart. It shows that sales have been steadily increasing over the past three years. And if we can keep increasing our sales, the total sales for this year will show an increase over last year. Next, please look at the right chart. The right chart shows that the campaigns we ran in April and August were fairly effective. I see, but the sales decreased in May and September following the campaigns. Yes, but this kind of decrease is unavoidable. I expect the annual sales for this year will show an increase over last year if we can keep increasing our sales. A man is joining a sports club and getting information on its policies. What type of membership will he choose? Let me start by explaining our club's different membership options, as described in this brochure. Regular members can use the gym and the pool at any time on any day of the week, but we also offer early morning memberships where people can use the facilities only in the early morning, and night memberships for people who only want to come in the evening. What are the hours for early morning members? Early morning members can use the facilities from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., and night members can use them from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. I see. So early morning members can stop by and use the facilities on their way to work. Exactly. The early morning type is popular among people with 9 to 5 jobs, and we also offer memberships just for the gym or just for the pool, if you only want to use one of those. I want to use both, the gym and the pool. I think I'll use the gym in the early morning before going to work on weekdays, and then use the pool on the weekend. Do you have a membership that covers something like early mornings for the weekdays, but all day on the weekend? We're sorry, but we don't offer a membership like that, sir. Okay. I don't think I can get up that early on the weekend, so I'll choose this membership option. What type of membership will he choose? A man is joining a sports club and getting information on its policies. What type of membership will he choose? Let me start by explaining our club's different membership options, as described in this brochure. Regular members can use the gym and the pool at any time on any day of the week, but we also offer early morning memberships where people can use the facilities only in the early morning, and night memberships for people who only want to come in the evening. What are the hours for early morning members? 
Early morning members can use the facilities from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., and night members can use them from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. I see. So early morning members can stop by and use the facilities on their way to work. Exactly. The early morning type is popular among people with 9 to 5 jobs, and we also offer memberships just for the gym or just for the pool, if you only want to use one of those. I want to use both, the gym and the pool. I think I'll use the gym in the early morning before going to work on weekdays and then use the pool on the weekend. Do you have a membership that covers something like early mornings for the weekdays but all day on the weekend? We're sorry, but we don't offer a membership like that, sir. Okay, I don't think I can get up that early on the weekend, so I'll choose this membership option. A woman is talking with a man who works for an outsourced printing company about a brochure for a new product. When is the deadline for the first design draft for the brochure? We decided to launch the new product on October 15th, and we'd like to offer you the contract to make the brochure. Thank you so much. We're definitely excited about helping you with this project. So, could you tell us a bit about the schedule? When will you need everything by? Well, considering the time needed for printing, we'd like to get the brochures to the printing stage by the end of September. So, would it be possible for you to get us the first design draft by the middle of August? Well, we'd like to give you three design options for the initial draft, and then have you choose the one which best fits your concept. Then we'll make the final design based on your choice. So it'll be very helpful if you could give us two more weeks to prepare for this stage. Hmm, okay. Maybe one month will be enough time to choose one of the designs you've made and then decide on the final design. All right, we'll be counting on you. You're in good hands. Our design team is the best. Thank you so much. When is the deadline for the first design draft for the brochure? A woman is talking with a man who works for an outsourced printing company about a brochure for a new product. When is the deadline for the first design draft for the brochure? We decided to launch the new product on October 15th, and we'd like to offer you the contract to make the brochure. Thank you so much. We're definitely excited about helping you with this project. So, could you tell us a bit about the schedule? When will you need everything by? Well, considering the time needed for printing, we'd like to get the brochures to the printing stage by the end of September. So, would it be possible for you to get us the first design draft by the middle of August? Well, we'd like to give you three design options for the initial draft, and then have you choose the one which best fits your concept. Then, we'll make the final design based on your choice. So, it'll be very helpful if you could give us two more weeks to prepare for this stage. Hmm, okay. Maybe one month will be enough time to choose one of the designs you've made and then decide on the final design. All right, we'll be counting on you. You're in good hands. Our design team is the best. Thank you so much. A woman is calling on the phone to reserve tickets for a play. Which two seats did she get? Hello, this is Blackfriars Playhouse. Can I help you? I'd like to get two tickets for King Lear at 5.30 this evening. Do you still have any tickets available? We do have a few seats left, but I'm sorry to say we don't have any next to each other. If you don't mind, though, we can get you two seats separately. Okay, we don't mind. Do you have any particular requests? Well, do you have any aisle seats? Yes, we have an aisle seat at the left side of the center section. And to the right of it, three seats over, we have another free seat. To the side? Okay, then please book that aisle seat. Certainly. How about the other one? Do you have any seats near the center? The only center seats we have left are from the first row to the third row. I'm not too crazy about having actors spit on me, so... This room is relatively small, and I think you could enjoy the play even at the end of the row on the side. Is that so? Then I'll take the one you mentioned before on the left side. Which two seats did she get? A woman is calling on the phone to reserve tickets for a play. Which two seats did she get? Hello, this is Blackfriars Playhouse. Can I help you? I'd like to get two tickets for King Lear at 5.30 this evening. Do you still have any tickets available? We do have a few seats left, but I'm sorry to say we don't have any next to each other. If you don't mind, though, we can get you two seats separately. 
Okay, we don't mind. Do you have any particular requests? Well, do you have any aisle seats? Yes, we have an aisle seat at the left side of the center section. And to the right of it, three seats over, we have another free seat. To the side? Okay, then please book that aisle seat. Certainly. How about the other one? Do you have any seats near the center? The only center seats we have left are from the first row to the third row. I'm not too crazy about having actors spit on me, so... This room is relatively small, and I think you could enjoy the play even at the end of the row on the side. Is that so? Then I'll take the one you mentioned before on the left side. A man and a woman are talking about preparations for a presentation they'll be making tomorrow at their office. What will the woman check after the conversation ends? Okay, I think we're almost ready for the presentation tomorrow. Just a few more things. The meeting will start at 9 sharp, so could you double check the meeting room today? Yep, I've already checked the room. Okay, great. Did you make sure the projector's working okay? Oh, I was going to check the projector tomorrow morning when I have my laptop. No, we've got to get that checked today. We won't have time to deal with it in the morning if there's a problem. So, make sure to check that projector today. That's the most important thing, okay? Will do. And did you get the copies of those handouts? Ms. Tanaka is making them now. Let's see. What else? Oh, did you check the whiteboard? Yes, I did. Sometimes the pens don't have enough ink left in them. Did you get a chance to check them? Not yet, but I'll make sure to do that later. Yes, please make sure to do that today. What will the woman check after the conversation ends? A man and a woman are talking about preparations for a presentation they'll be making tomorrow at their office. What will the woman check after the conversation ends? Okay, I think we're almost ready for the presentation tomorrow. Just a few more things. The meeting will start at 9 sharp, so could you double check the meeting room today? Yep, I've already checked the room. Okay, great. Did you make sure the projector's working okay? Oh, I was going to check the projector tomorrow morning when I have my laptop. No, we've got to get that checked today. We won't have time to deal with it in the morning if there's a problem. So, make sure to check that projector today. That's the most important thing, okay? Will do. And did you get the copies of those handouts? Ms. Tanaka is making them now. Let's see. What else? Oh, did you check the whiteboard? Yes, I did. Sometimes the pens don't have enough ink left in them. Did you get a chance to check them? Not yet, but I'll make sure to do that later. Yes, please make sure to do that today. A man and a woman are choosing a hotel. Which hotel are they going to choose? We have to decide on the hotel for our trip next month. Okay, let's check the internet. The Ocean Hotel is near the beach. It says $120 a night per person, and you get a buffet breakfast. How about the Pine Hotel? It's $80 a night. I don't want to waste too much on accommodations. Hmm, but the Pine Hotel is far from the beach and from downtown, and it says you have to pay for Wi-Fi. What about the Sunrise Hotel? It usually costs $140 a night, but now they're running a promotion and we can stay one night for $90. It's between the beach and downtown, plus it has free Wi-Fi. Sounds good. Oh, wait. It says the deal is for next week only. Oh, I didn't see that. So, how about this place, the Royal Hotel? It's located in the middle of downtown and it costs $100 a night. The room doesn't look so nice, but they have free Wi-Fi. Okay, let's book this hotel. Oh, it's already fully booked. Shoot. Then I think the first one is best. Is it full? No, it's not. Great. Which hotel are they going to choose? A man and a woman are choosing a hotel. Which hotel are they going to choose? We have to decide on the hotel for our trip next month. Okay, let's check the internet. The Ocean Hotel is near the beach. It says $120 a night per person, and you get a buffet breakfast. How about the Pine Hotel? It's $80 a night. I don't want to waste too much on accommodations. Hmm, but the Pine Hotel is far from the beach and from downtown, and it says you have to pay for Wi-Fi. What about the Sunrise Hotel? 
it usually costs $140 a night, but now they're running a promotion and we can stay one night for $90. It's between the beach and downtown. Plus, it has free Wi-Fi. Sounds good. Oh, wait. It says the deal is for next week only. Oh, I didn't see that. So how about this place, the Royal Hotel? It's located in the middle of downtown and it costs $100 a night. The room doesn't look so nice, but they have free Wi-Fi. Okay, let's book this hotel. Oh, it's already fully booked. Shoot. Then I think the first one is best. Is it full? No, it's not. Great. A man and a woman are talking about the layout of a meeting room. How are they going to arrange the tables? Let's move the tables for tomorrow's meeting. All right. Shall we put all the tables in the center of the room so that everyone faces each other? Well, there's going to be a group session first, so let's separate the tables into four sections. Four people will be seated in each group. Okay. And I'll put some pens and pads of paper on each table. Thank you. And we'll have a short presentation at the beginning of the session, so we need a projector here. All right. Also, we're going to use a whiteboard, aren't we? Is it okay if I put the whiteboard next to the screen? Well, how about putting the whiteboard at the other end of the room? That makes sense. After the meeting, we need to put everything back where it was, in four rows of two tables per row. How are they going to arrange the tables? A man and a woman are talking about the layout of a meeting room. How are they going to arrange the tables? Let's move the tables for tomorrow's meeting. All right. Shall we put all the tables in the center of the room so that everyone faces each other? Well, there's going to be a group session first, so let's separate the tables into four sections. Four people will be seated in each group. Okay. And I'll put some pens and pads of paper on each table. Thank you. And we'll have a short presentation at the beginning of the session, so we need a projector here. All right. Also, we're going to use a whiteboard, aren't we? Is it okay if I put the whiteboard next to the screen? Well, how about putting the whiteboard at the other end of the room? That makes sense. After the meeting, we need to put everything back where it was, in four rows of two tables per row. A man and a woman are talking about office supplies. What will the man order? Every month you need to check our office supplies and order any items that are running low. This time, let's take a look at them together. Here's the checklist. Okay, that sounds good. Well, starting with the paper, it looks like there's only one box left. We use lots of paper every day, so let's order two more boxes. Okay, the printer is out of color ink. Should we order that? We don't really print documents in color, so we don't need to worry about that. Hmm, okay. Looks like these whiteboard markers are running out of ink. Right. Those need to be replaced. We get a discount if we order them in sets of five, so let's do that. Okay. And while we're at it, can we order a mouse? Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. That's probably because it's running out of batteries. Let's check the stock of batteries and order more if we don't have many left. Sure. Well, we have three batteries here. You can take two of these for your mouse, but buy a six-pack of batteries to replace them. What will the man order? A man and a woman are talking about office supplies. What will the man order? Every month you need to check our office supplies and order any items that are running low. This time, let's take a look at them together. Here's the checklist. Okay, that sounds good. Well, starting with the paper, it looks like there's only one box left. We use lots of paper every day, so let's order two more boxes. Okay, the printer is out of color ink. Should we order that? We don't really print documents in color, so we don't need to worry about that. Hmm, okay. Looks like these whiteboard markers are running out of ink. Right. Those need to be replaced. We get a discount if we order them in sets of five, so let's do that. Okay. And while we're at it, can we order a mouse? Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. That's probably because it's running out of batteries. Let's check the stock of batteries and order more if we don't have many left. Sure. Well, we have three batteries here. You can take two of these for your mouse, but buy a six-pack of batteries to replace them. A woman is asking for directions to the airport at an information center. 
How is she going to get to the airport? Excuse me, I need to go to the airport. Would you tell me how to get there? Sure, there are a few ways. If you take bus number one, it takes about one and a half hours to the airport. It's the least expensive way. Bus number two is a non stop bus. It's more expensive and leaves once every hour, but it only takes 50 minutes. I see. What about taxis? There's a taxi stand in front of the building, and they take about an hour. But they use the expressway and charge extra for a lot of luggage, so it's going to be a lot more expensive than the bus. I guess that makes sense, and I'd like to avoid paying too much. You didn't by chance buy anything at Shopping World while you were here. They offer complimentary shuttle service to the airport for customers who make a purchase there. Wow, I didn't know that. I haven't bought anything yet, but I was going to stop by and get some souvenirs there anyway. Then you can use that. How is she going to get to the airport? A woman is asking for directions to the airport at an information center. How is she going to get to the airport? Excuse me, I need to go to the airport. Would you tell me how to get there? Sure, there are a few ways. If you take bus number one, it takes about one and a half hours to the airport. It's the least expensive way. Bus number two is a non stop bus. It's more expensive and leaves once every hour, but it only takes 50 minutes. I see. What about taxis? There's a taxi stand in front of the building, and they take about an hour. But they use the expressway and charge extra for a lot of luggage, so it's going to be a lot more expensive than the bus. I guess that makes sense, and I'd like to avoid paying too much. You didn't by chance buy anything at Shopping World while you were here. They offer complimentary shuttle service to the airport for customers who make a purchase there. Wow, I didn't know that. I haven't bought anything yet, but I was going to stop by and get some souvenirs there anyway. Then you can use that. A woman and a supplier are talking on the phone. What is the woman going to get for the sale? I need you to deliver some more sweaters in time for the sale next month. Okay, what do you need? We need a thousand of the small red sweaters and four hundred of the medium red sweaters. And we also need six hundred of the small green sweaters and two hundred of the medium green sweaters by the end of this month. Red and green sweaters. Actually, we're running low on green sweaters and we're waiting on some green yarn from our supplier. We'll get you started with the red sweaters, though. No, no, no. We need the red and green sweaters together. So please just get as many green sweaters ready as you can. Okay. I think we can get two hundred of the green sweaters to you on time. Which size has higher priority? The small ones take priority. Sorry for such short notice, but we really need your help. All right, we'll do our best. We'll get those green sweaters to you along with all the red sweaters you ordered. What is the woman going to get for the sale? A woman and a supplier are talking on the phone. What is the woman going to get for the sale? I need you to deliver some more sweaters in time for the sale next month. Okay, what do you need? We need a thousand of the small red sweaters and four hundred of the medium red sweaters. And we also need six hundred of the small green sweaters and two hundred of the medium green sweaters by the end of this month. Red and green sweaters. Actually, we're running low on green sweaters and we're waiting on some green yarn from our supplier. We'll get you started with the red sweaters, though. No, no, no. We need the red and green sweaters together. So please just get as many green sweaters ready as you can. Okay. I think we can get 200 of the green sweaters to you on time. Which size has higher priority? The small ones take priority. Sorry for such short notice, but we really need your help. All right. We'll do our best. We'll get those green sweaters to you along with all the red sweaters you ordered. A woman is asking about a library's lending policy. Which materials could she borrow at one time? Excuse me, can you tell me how to borrow books? Is it your first time at this library? Yes. Well, then I'll explain the rules to you. You can borrow up to six books and five CDs or DVDs at a time per person. 
but you can only borrow up to 10 items in total at a time. Everything needs to be returned in two weeks, and if you'd like to renew, please let us know before then. Can I also borrow magazines or newspapers? You can't borrow newspapers, but you can borrow magazines except for the latest issue. Can I return them through the mail? We can't accept returns through the mail. Please come to the library to return them. After hours, you can put them in the box next to the entrance. But items that are overdue, please return them directly to this desk. I see. Thank you very much. Which materials could she borrow at one time? A woman is asking about a library's lending policy. Which materials could she borrow at one time? Excuse me, can you tell me how to borrow books? Is it your first time at this library? Yes. Well then, I'll explain the rules to you. You can borrow up to six books and five CDs or DVDs at a time per person. But you can only borrow up to 10 items in total at a time. Everything needs to be returned in two weeks, and if you'd like to renew, please let us know before then. Can I also borrow magazines or newspapers? You can't borrow newspapers, but you can borrow magazines except for the latest issue. Can I return them through the mail? We can't accept returns through the mail. Please come to the library to return them. After hours, you can put them in the box next to the entrance. But items that are overdue, please return them directly to this desk. I see. Thank you very much. A man is choosing an insurance plan. Which plan is he going to sign up for? What kind of trip will you be taking? I'm going scuba diving. Since I'll be bringing all my own equipment, I'm a bit worried about getting it stolen. Very smart of you. Insurance against theft is included in all of our plans. Since scuba diving equipment is an unusual type of baggage, only Plan A can cover it, though. Alternatively, you can get insurance specifically for scuba diving equipment and add it to other plans. Plan A is the most expensive one, right? What's the difference between Plan B and Plan C? Okay, for example, if you happen to stay in a hospital abroad, Plan B covers flight tickets for your family to visit you, but Plan C doesn't. I see. If I get the special contractor scuba diving equipment and add it to Plan B or Plan C, would it be more expensive than Plan A? With Plan B, that would make it a little more expensive. But with Plan C, it would be less expensive. Okay. By the way, is there any plan that's cheaper than Plan C? Yes, we have Plan D, but it doesn't cover accommodation if your flight gets delayed or canceled. So we don't recommend this plan. Got it. I agree that I need coverage, but I don't think I need coverage for family plane tickets. So I'll take this plan and combine it with the insurance for scuba diving equipment. Which plan is he going to sign up for? A man is choosing an insurance plan. Which plan is he going to sign up for? What kind of trip will you be taking? I'm going scuba diving. Since I'll be bringing all my own equipment, I'm a bit worried about getting it stolen. Very smart of you. Insurance against theft is included in all of our plans. Since scuba diving equipment is an unusual type of baggage, only Plan A can cover it, though. Alternatively, you can get insurance specifically for scuba diving equipment and add it to other plans. Plan A is the most expensive one, right? What's the difference between Plan B and Plan C? Okay. For example, if you happen to stay in a hospital abroad, Plan B covers flight tickets for your family to visit you, but Plan C doesn't. I see. If I get the special contractor scuba diving equipment and add it to Plan B or Plan C, would it be more expensive than Plan A? With Plan B, that would make it a little more expensive. But with Plan C, it would be less expensive. Okay. By the way, is there any plan that's cheaper than Plan C? Yes, we have Plan D, but it doesn't cover accommodation if your flight gets delayed or canceled. So we don't recommend this plan. Got it. 
I agree that I need coverage, but I don't think I need coverage for family plane tickets. So I'll take this plan and combine it with the insurance for scuba diving equipment. A woman is reporting to her boss about the results of a questionnaire. Which graph represents the employees from the B branch? Last week, we asked 200 employees to answer a questionnaire about their fitness habits. The focus of this questionnaire was on how many hours they exercise each week. Did you tally up the results for the A and B branches separately? Yes, and employees had four options. Less than an hour, around one to two hours, around three to five hours, and six hours or more. Here are the results. So employees in both branches answered about one to two hours the most. Looks like they're exercising about once a week. Yes, and after that, employees in the A branch were most likely to answer about three to five hours. While in the B branch, the next most common answer was less than an hour. Hmm, not even 10% of employees at the B branch exercise more than six hours. That's right. So I was thinking we could organize weekly sports events there that anybody could casually join. That's a good idea. It'd give employees a good chance to socialize too. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. I'll take care of it. Which graph represents the employees from the B branch? A woman is reporting to her boss about the results of a questionnaire. Which graph represents the employees from the B branch? Last week, we asked 200 employees to answer a questionnaire about their fitness habits. The focus of this questionnaire was on how many hours they exercise each week. Did you tally up the results for the A and B branches separately? Yes and employees had four options, less than an hour, around one to two hours, around three to five hours, and six hours or more. Here are the results. So employees in both branches answered about one to two hours the most. Looks like they're exercising about once a week. Yes, and after that, employees in the A branch were most likely to answer about three to five hours. While in the B branch, the next most common answer was less than an hour. Hmm, not even 10% of employees at the B branch exercise more than six hours. That's right. So I was thinking we could organize weekly sports events there that anybody could casually join. That's a good idea. It'd give employees a good chance to socialize too. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. I'll take care of it. A male student and a female student are talking about volunteer activities. Which activities are they going to take part in? I heard we're supposed to volunteer for some activity and write a report about it for class. We can choose anything, right? What are you going to do? I haven't made up my mind yet. What about you? I haven't decided yet either. I'm interested in environmental issues, so I'm looking for something in a nature conservation group. I see. So you want to go and pick up trash off of the ground? Well, that'd be okay, actually, but I'm looking for a group activity. I want to learn more about a leadership role in this kind of organization as well, if possible. You know, I have a friend who helps out with a group that plants trees with kids. Are you interested in that kind of thing? Yeah, that sounds good, thanks. It'd also be a great opportunity to interact with children. Do you want to do this too? Maybe, but I'd like to try something a bit more people-focused. You know, like helping elderly or disabled people. Oh, my mother is helping out at the local senior center. Would that be interesting to you? Yes, that sounds great. Which activities are they going to take part in? A male student and a female student are talking about volunteer activities. Which activities are they going to take part in? I heard we're supposed to volunteer for some activity 
and write a report about it for class. We can choose anything, right? What are you going to do? I haven't made up my mind yet. What about you? I haven't decided yet either. I'm interested in environmental issues, so I'm looking for something in a nature conservation group. I see. So you want to go and pick up trash off of the ground? Well, that'd be okay, actually, but I'm looking for a group activity. I want to learn more about a leadership role in this kind of organization as well, if possible. You know, I have a friend who helps out with a group that plants trees with kids. Are you interested in that kind of thing? Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. It'd also be a great opportunity to interact with children. Do you want to do this too? Maybe. But I'd like to try something a bit more people focused. You know, like helping elderly or disabled people. Oh, my mother is helping out at the local senior center. Would that be interesting to you? Yes, that sounds great. Two bakers are talking. How are they going to display their bread? This new cheesy bread isn't selling well, is it? No. We placed it on the top shelf, though. Hmm. Maybe it's too high for some people. They probably can't see it. Then let's put it on the middle shelf. Sounds good. They'll see it when they first come into the store. And why don't we put a red cloth on this shelf so that they know it's our new bread? All right. Then we'll have to move the croissants to somewhere else. Top or bottom? Why don't we put our regular items on the top shelf? They'll sell well even if they're not easy to spot. That has to be the French bread then. Let's put it in a basket so it'll stand out. Good idea. Now, the croissants have to be on the bottom. Okay. How does it look? Looks good. Let's see how it goes for a week and then decide if we need to make any adjustments. How are they going to display their bread? Two bakers are talking. How are they going to display their bread? This new cheesy bread isn't selling well, is it? No. We placed it on the top shelf, though. Hmm. Maybe it's too high for some people. They probably can't see it. Then let's put it on the middle shelf. Sounds good. They'll see it when they first come into the store. And why don't we put a red cloth on this shelf so that they know it's our new bread? All right. Then we'll have to move the croissants to somewhere else. Top or bottom? Why don't we put our regular items on the top shelf? They'll sell well even if they're not easy to spot. That has to be the French bread then. Let's put it in a basket so it'll stand out. Good idea. Now, the croissants have to be on the bottom. Okay. How does it look? Looks good. Let's see how it goes for a week and then decide if we need to make any adjustments. A man and a woman are planning their sightseeing route. In which order will they visit the sites around town? Which route should we take tomorrow? I'd really like to go see the museum, the castle, and the observatory. I also want to buy some souvenirs along the way. The museum is open from 8 to 6. The castle is open from 9 to 4. Then the observatory seems to be open from 9 in the morning until 9 in the evening. The castle has a special guided tour twice a day, starting at noon and 2 o'clock. I think we should catch one of those. I think you need to book the tour in advance. Can you check that online? Sure. Oh, the one starting at noon is already booked. Should we book the one starting at 2? Sure. We can take that tour right after lunch. All right. Where do we want to go first, the museum or the observatory? I would love to see the night view. What if we stay at the castle until 4 and then go to the observatory after dark? Good idea. Okay, let's have lunch at the restaurant inside the museum. Then we can go souvenir shopping before the castle tour starts. Sure, sounds like a perfect plan. In which order will they visit the sites around town? A man and a woman are planning their sightseeing route. In which order will they visit the sites around town? Which route should we take tomorrow? I'd really like to go see the museum, the castle, 
and the observatory. I also want to buy some souvenirs along the way. The museum is open from 8 to 6. The castle is open from 9 to 4. Then the observatory seems to be open from 9 in the morning until 9 in the evening. The castle has a special guided tour twice a day, starting at noon and 2 o'clock. I think we should catch one of those. I think you need to book the tour in advance. Can you check that online? Sure. Oh, the one starting at noon is already booked. Should we book the one starting at 2? Sure. We can take that tour right after lunch. All right. Where do we want to go first, the museum or the observatory? I would love to see the night view. What if we stay at the castle until 4 and then go to the observatory after dark? Good idea. Okay, let's have lunch at the restaurant inside the museum. Then we can go souvenir shopping before the castle tour starts. Sure, sounds like a perfect plan. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.